We're back, and it's your boy Wings of Redemption. I'm doing another dual commentary with a, a guy I think everybody can learn a thing or two from, Woods, Woody Gamertag. Yeah, is, that, so is that your actual name? Woody's Gamertag is, is my actual gamertag, and I go by Woody, the unexceptional gamer. So the, the theme behind the channel is uh, helping people do well in the game using tactics and knowledge. So if you watch me actually play, my aim's not perfect. Sometimes I go uh, using the tactical setup I crouch when I shouldn't. But uh, I still get decent scores, and I still win a lot. And I do it not through excellence on the stick, but by being a student of the game. So that's my deal. That's the way everybody should be, dude. Play to win. Now, I didn't actually start using the tactical setup till about midway through World at War, when everybody was starting doing that little worm. Did you play World at War? No, a COD 4 guy all the way. Uh, I don't know if you know this. In World of War, they had a moving glitch called the uh, snake. So I, I met Kyle through Wings of Redemption. Here's my side, and maybe we'll, we'll learn Kyle's. Uh, Wings of Redemption was a YouTuber, still is a YouTuber, made Call of Duty videos, still makes them now and then. And uh, at the time, his channel was exploding, and I was nobody. I think I had one or two videos. And uh, depending on how you look at it, like from what I was looking at, he was just doing a nice thing for his subscribers and doing dual comms. I later learned that his motivation was that he was making so many videos, he was kind of out of topic ideas. So he was just bringing other people in so that he could maintain his upload schedule and, you know, keep everything rolling. Either way, you know, there's a win-win. And he started reaching out for people uh, who were content creators who wanted to do dual comms with him. And uh, the first time he did it, I didn't reply because I wanted to have more of a, I, I had this really like, I, I wanted to have more of a, a library on my video. Like people aren't gonna subscribe to you if you just have like one or two videos. So once I had like four or five videos, um, I put together a gameplay and I had, with the gameplay, I had a plan. I'd write down like at one minute and 10 seconds, this is a good thing to point out. At one minute and 32 seconds, this is a good thing to point out. And I didn't get to say them all because it was a conversation it was rolling, but I did get to say a couple of them and it really worked out and uh, um, my video with Wings went really popular and he sort of helped me get my start. When that video was well received, he was like, oh, uh, you know, it was just kind of a win-win. Like he was like, oh, I like Woody, I liked Wings. Um, when I do videos with him, he gets good content on his channel, we hang out, we enjoy each other's company, etc. He introduced me to Kyle and I remember Kyle told me, uh, his first impression of me was like, who the f*** is this guy? He's honing in on my <laughs> Wings of Redemption friendship. <laughs> <laughs> well, my first impression of Kyle was like, oh, this guy's really cool. Like, I hope I can get invited into this club. <laughs> so, uh, um, and then that was it. Like, I started meeting Pyro Puncher. Uh, he, he eventually switched to Minecraft. Super popular. He's in some group that makes him very popular. I forget what it is. It's a cool club's Minecraft group. And, uh, um, but, you know, I remember I started doing dual comms with, like, other YouTube royalty and, like, getting to know people. And uh, Kyle and Wings put their head together that we should do a podcast. At the time, Hutch and Anners and a guy named Trump were, was doing one. And they pitched it to me. And I was like, no, no one will ever want to listen to us talking. This this won't work. And uh, um, then, like like, two days later, three days later, before the first episode, I changed my mind. I was like, can I still get in on this? You know, I... Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> and uh, shucks, now we're 300 episodes in. Yeah, yeah. Kyle, any... any... Uh, so I guess the question was how we, we came together. Yeah, I, I think the first time... I, I, all that's accurate as far as our online interaction. I was going to say, I think the first time we met in person was in Boston uh, at, that, at that awful bar. 
But but yeah, that, that that's pretty much it. Yeah, Wings was um, looking for people to do uh, stuff with, and he saw a video of mine's on the Moody Swedes channel, and then uh, I did a series of like dual comms talking to him, and uh, and I always enjoyed doing that because that just felt like free advertising, and you got to talk to Wings, who who was such an anomaly to me, and I remember talking to him. You know, he's just there wasn't much Wings of Redemption information. You know, he's an onion that has been peeled very well over the last six years, but back then he was a real mystery man. And, and and it was just interesting to go talk to him to, like, see who... Because you couldn't get a sense of what he was. You couldn't tell, if the, is this guy an evil genius? Is this guy a re... Is this guy... Wh- who is this guy? You could not... You couldn't nail him down. Dude. And so it was really interesting to meet him and talk to him. And I at got... first, I didn't, I didn't care for him at all. Um, he just seemed to dominate conversations with stuff that... Just, just, just seemed self-serving, and I, I wasn't really into it. But I was like, well, I guess we'll just keep doing this because, I mean, he's got a lot of subscribers. It just makes sense to hop on his channel if he wants me to. I, I'll do that. I'll, I'll suffer through it. And over time, I started. He started growing on me. Um, he, he can, he can do that to you. And, uh, and yeah, we, I don't remember which, if it was he or I who thought it would be a good idea to do a podcast. Probably him, maybe. Um, I don't. I really don't remember the genesis. <laughs> Hello guys, this is Painkiller Already, and I'm your host, Jordy Jordan, a.k.a. known as Wings of Redemption, for anybody else who can't put two and two together. Who else do we have with us? I'll go next. This is uh, Woody's Gamer Tag. And uh, this is FBS Kyle, also known as uh, Kyle Myers. And Hi guys, it's... Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> this is Brittany, or um, Pink Ranger 206. All right, let's All right. get uh, this out the way. I want to thank everybody who contributed to make Painkiller Already happen. And I also want to go ahead and give a shout-out to the top two bidders. Um, the top bidder did not want to be a part of it because he had to work on a Thursday night, but he has an open invitation to be a part of one of our shows. Excuse me. His name is Ronald Ramsey, and he won it by donating $200. All right. Yeah, that guy's voice used to crack all the time. It was endearing to me, though. Yeah, I like it. Maybe it's because I used to be a, like a lead singer of a death metal band that actually hold a high note. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, so let's talk you, about I've... you, Wings. Oh, my <laughs> God. You hate your subs. Hey, oh, my God. Uh, you're playing with fire now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're... I don't hate, Go ahead. I don't hate all my subs. I, I, I should be more specific, but I hate people that hate me. This woman gets on stage, she's like, you don't understand, it's going to be better for everybody. Some guy in the crowd goes, kill that stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be me, I'd be like, your dog is going to disappear tonight. Did you play an instrument, Wings? No, I didn't. I do play an instrument, but it has nothing to do with a death metal band. It's a banjo, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, it's a violin. I was the uh, second chair going up through high school in orchestra. Just go get your violin. <laughs> no, please I don't, do. I don't, I actually don't own it no more. But gaming it background right? you're not just a first person shooter guy you're you know role playing guy you're, you're whatever and you're well spoken and you know you could relate to people I, I think you'd yeah you'd be good at that I, I think you're confusing Kyle with me oh my god <laughs> whatever the airsoft gun that I, I use on occasion outside for target practice I have 46 weapons most some of them are fully automatic well mine are to, to shoot the cat to come the backyard but I didn't really want to mine are too <laughs> I don't actually hit any of them. That's awesome. That's so funny. Mine are too. Hey, I caught a damn top cat on my truck when I just bought it. Oh man, he didn't stay alive too long. Really? Most people, most people set poison out, not me. Twenty-two rifle, super subsonic bullets. So I'm gonna go to uh, Wings of Redemption first because I'm guessing he's thought this through. Right. If you wanted to murder someone and get away with it, how would you go about doing it? Oh, I know how I'd go about doing I it. I knew you yeah, would, baby. I knew like like you would. You're <laughs> Lay it on me. I do too. <laughs> well, but the actual way of killing him, um, probably just shoot it, shoot him. I mean, so, 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 the whole idea is to cover it up. You, you want to keep the blood splatter to a minimum, you want to use a smaller caliber, like a 22 or something that will rattle around inside of them, something that will bend over onto itself. And after after they're done, the, be, the way I would dispose of the body is a couple ways. Um, the first one would be pigs. Um, 
I don't know if you know this, but a, like a, a trial of you know full-grown pigs, like like twelve or twelve plus of them, can eat a human corpse in less than two hours. Yeah. What about hair, all carpet, bone. Um, another way to do it is go to a hardware store beforehand, get you some chain link fence, some cinder blocks, and some leather, like a nice sheet of leather. Wrap, wet the leather, wrap them up into it, power dry it with a blow, with like a blow gun, and put them in the chain link fence like a like a burrito and basically tie meat to it. I know you live in the South, Woody, but down here, it's gonna sound really racist. They, go ahead, they already hate I mean, black people feel like that you owe them something. Straight up. They don't tip you, they don't do anything for you, they're more likely to do it, what you just said, like, like ignore your floor because they have power in numbers. We have, we have what's called Black Bike Week down here in Myrtle Beach, and it is the worst two weeks so it's, it's a week but it's about two weeks long but it's the worst week to be down here because they trash the place they leave trash on beaches they'll do burnout to stoplights they'll drive real slow just to you off <sighs> i'm not a racist guy myself but i understand racism <laughs> that makes sense I, I got one more thing what's up with all the homosexual references in my comment section when you see if somebody calls a fanboy, next thing they're gonna say is you ride somebody's dick or you're a fanboy. What is with this? Seriously, how has this become an insult? You know what always bothered me about serial, serial killers is the faggot ones. The John Wayne Gacy. <laughs> they would get the little boys to paint with him and he'd like hold on. Your problem with serial killers is that they're attracted to other men? Yes. <laughs> well, this faggot right here just called me wings you fell as a rusher. Stay camping. Be, but that's not the, what people want to know. They want to know Wings of Redemption. That's what they want. They want to know why I picked that. There's a uh, there's a there's a curse called King Tut Tut Kahaman's curse, which was in 1923. And on his tomb read, "Death comes on swift wings who enters the tomb of the Pharaoh." And basically, that that right there is like a saying for the wings part of my name. You know, death comes on swift wings. That's, that's what the mice that I had. You know, Wings of Redemption, like. When you have death, you have the vigilante, you have redemption, all this kind of thing. It kind of meshed together, and it sounded cool and noble, Wings of Redemption. I've tried diets hardcore. I've tried diet pills. I've even tried taking speed. Um, I used to work a physical job, and I couldn't lose weight. My metabolism is so slow. I'm, I'm short, and I have such little self-confidence. Did you say you were short? Son. No, you're not short. No, no. I'm I misunderstood. Short self-confidence. Oh, oh, I guess you already got it. Yeah, um, mainly because I never could get it to work. I've tried diets, and um, I always fall off of them. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's like that Coca-Cola is too good to get rid of, and so on and so forth. I can jump on any shooter game and do better than, you know, a standard Scrubby Dubby. Not Halo Reach. <laughs> you were having a hard time at Halo Reach, my friend. I remember... You were having a hard time at Halo Reach because the grenades are overpowered. Because it's not balanced. I don't... The grenade, I didn't care for the grenades too much. And I had a hard time holding a, a decent KD in that game. But, I mean, I, like you, have mostly been playing Call of Duty the last few years. I started on Halo 2. That was my first first-person shooter. I got no problem shooting people and staying on target. I do a very fine in Battlefield. I have over a 2 KD on Battlefield. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember when I first did a commentary with Woody. Woody called me at the right moment, and I, we did a dual com together. As soon as we finished, I'm like, your channel's going to be big. It's just, you just, some people just have the vibe. Like, Woody, he, he came in ready. He knew what he was going to talk about. Yeah. Even if his gameplay suffered, he could he could pull up Ken Burton scores as long as he could explain how he pulled that Ken Burton score. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I was getting a fight and I knew what was coming with a fight, I, I, I keep this thing, what you call, Hawkeye Dog Repellent in my truck. What? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta explain that one. Yes, you do. What it does yeah. is when you spray it in somebody's eyes, it blinds them and it, it takes away their ability to breathe. You just do, boom, and then catch them right in the, in the head with an elbow, gives them on the ground, get them in a full mount. <laughs> but the doctor can counter that. He got the glasses on. What do you gotta do now? Oh. It takes away your ability to breathe. You can't cover your nose. Oh no! If I could ever get an elbow on you with all my weight behind it, I don't. I don't care who you are. You could be like. Brock Lesnar, you'd probably go down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though, if anybody got hit with any grown man's elbow with all their weight behind it, they'd be going down. <laughs> because 
I, I've used that thing on a couple dogs. I used to deliver pizza back when I was going to school. And I, that's why I have it. That's why I started carrying this Hawkeye. You can buy it anywhere. It's like 10 bucks a bottle. That right there will make dogs like dive their head into the grass. <laughs> You've been there. <laughs> and they're like, they're, like going, they're like going around circles trying to rub their eyes out in the grass. <laughs> oh my god. That's cruel. Hey, you know what's more cruel? Him biting my Yeah, I see him or me. Yeah, Woody, you would even have two KD. I would even have KD. Do I have to tell you what happened last time we played one on one? Oh! Oh! Yeah, connection. And one Don't be careful with your insults. Uh, yeah. There we go. You me you remember the last time somebody faced me one on one in a in a non linear map? Ooh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I honestly don't. We played one on one once. And you went down. Why did you start making YouTube videos? Why did you get into it? Money. Money. So you, you came into this as a as a money making thing. You're like, all right, I'm gonna grow my channel. I'm gonna get a machinima contract, and I'm gonna. Well, they didn't have machinima contracts back then. <laughs> Maybe not wings. He doesn't keep friends. But um, like you, you have this library, like this Rolodex of you know Hutches and Hashtros and wings and Kyles and Socrates and. Onslaughts and T-Marts and Bendros and Dawn and On Juice. Um, like, what do you do about your old friends from before YouTube? Do you, do you still play? I deleted them. <laughs> of course you did. Why did well, you delete them? Did. Uh, because, well, first off, they didn't acknowledge how, how I was the best player in the group. So, uh, oh my I'm gonna have it that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh. So I, I, had to little, I, had, I had to remind them how I carry the game battles team in, in World at War. And I had to remind them how I'm always at the top of the list, and then they got mad What's about the that. What's with you and this need for acknowledgement? Did your mom not love you enough? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. I'm not f around. I deleted all their. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So <laughs> yeah, whenever, whenever I get a chance, I like to play with wings, and then just a bunch of like randoms that he's put together. Because he'll treat them like shit. And something will go bad, or, and like one of them will get host, and he'll have his host to be like not so great. He'll be like, Jimmy, Jimmy, leave the game. Jimmy's like, Why? I Why? Know. Your host it sucks, Jimmy. You bagged me all over the place. I lost the pay flow. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, you see post migration. <laughs> like. Kyle, it, it almost sounds like he's exaggerating or something. Dude, this is word for word the sorts of word things I've heard Wings say That's multiple exactly times. Yeah. Get your f***ing <laughs> friend out the game, or I'll uh -huh. get your chairs. Or this, or this, right? Like, Wings will be playing with a guy, and then that guy knows a guy who joined his session. Like, you know, so, like, hypothetically pretend that uh, Kyle doesn't know Wings. I'm playing with Wings, Kyle joins my session, because we're friends, and, and you know, that's how we get together every night. Wings will ban me and ban and ban Kyle because yeah. I know the sort of person yeah. who would join session. And yeah. they're both off the friends list. Both of them gone. It's, yep. it's missing. On the it's other hand, many times. <laughs> on the other hand, like there's a wings that um, that subs don't get to see all that much. Like you know, that guy that reads poetry in his commentary, that guy that has deeper thoughts and a sensitive side, he's there too. And I get to see him and sometimes his subs don't. Uh, and recently it's been changed. But there was that like phase he had where um, I guess he and his subs had conflict for like whatever 50 videos, 100 videos in a row, <laughs> and uh, and a lot of guys are stuck on that wings. But there's you know there's more to them. I love like like I said that's one of my favorite things to do is play with wings because like somebody starts going negative, somebody starts doing bad, but you know w wings is having a hard time, so he'll throw that scoreboard up and he's looking for somebody to blame. You better hope you're not on the bottom side. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll be playing and I'm like. All That's right. right. I, I better go positive here because Wings is going to get commandoed in a minute and he's going to be looking for somebody oh, to yell at. Or worse, like, if Wings gets predatored, he starts looking through the list of, you uh -huh. know, all right, who's negative, who's negative. Some yeah, poor guy will like, give me a predator <laughs> out. <laughs> Some poor guy will be 9 7. That one I felt sorry for as well. If I'm Chris Hansen, I'm going to be like, dude, just go out the back. Just, just, just go, man. Just go. <laughs> no, how many of these guys on the show get criminally prosecuted? Every one of them. They follow up on it every day. The cops are waiting years. outside. The cops tackle them down. And so they haven't done nothing. Yes, they have. 
No, no, no. That's conspiracy. It could be a. The girl's 18. The girl's 18. They have nothing. No, they, no. I don't think that's Trust true. Trust me, they list the charges. It's uh, first. It, it's the intent. The intent is all that matters. It doesn't matter if there's an actual child involved. They had the intent to do so, and it's have their you seen fourteen-year-olds lately? I know you're not telling me anything. I don't know, my friend. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, I'm saying I'll try to pass it up. If Kyle's like, like stand out, back here. It, there's like a whole handful of like federal crimes and uh, and different statutes that they're breaking right. just they, by talking. I need some Johnny Cochran. A good lawyer can get you off all those. Those guys are doing five years pretty much regularly. It's one to five years and then like probation. And... That no, is not no. what you said. No, that no, is yeah. Not what you, said. you said that you never met me too. Yes, I don't. He He's, you've said a lot of things that are questionable, my friend. I'm not going to. <laughs> Sean Andy. Sean Andy's the kind of guy I would beat in the back alley and never feel bad. I wouldn't lose a night of sleep over it. <laughs> I could, if I could kick in Sean Hannity's face with a steel toe work boot, I would do it. Sean Hannity's a great man. From this podcast, I've learned that Wings wants to grill Gordon Ramsay's face, um, kick somebody in the face with the grill. Sci-fi car. Suicide, exactly that one. I missed that one. And then uh, steel toe working boot. That's that's. Uh... What's up, everybody? It's your boy Wings Original with Painkiller already. What the hell do you get when you have a train? and a redneck British guy that lives at home. I think we got the zombie king of the mother world. What's up with your boy Syndicate? <laughs> that was awesome. Hey man, how's it going? <laughs> that was awesome. Like, I was like, what, yeah. redneck? <laughs> yeah, you're the northerner. Remember that. Yeah, you're the northerner of England. I thought we, all, I thought we uh, pretty much assumed that you were the, ex- the example of a British redneck. <laughs> the worst thing, like anything, you know, like they could shout at me, they could take off the stuff, but when you know you've got that, you know, when they say, I'm not mine. How do you tear do down an adult? You put them in solitary confinement. You take every privilege they, what they have away to the point where they either, they're, they're afraid of not doing good. I mean, it's not like breaking them down like that, but when you, when you take a kid down like that and you take everything away, that's time you can bond with them. They, they want their TV back. They want their toys back. They want access to their room back. And you're there to, they, you're there to fill the day. It's like, well, you don't have this stuff, so come do this for me. Yeah. I mean, I, I, me is just a whole different thing. I, I try not to be fake, and me not being fake make, makes a lot of people not like me. Not not being fake. Not being fake. So so you mean I'm, like speaking? I've mind. I've met all the commentators. Woody's the only one that acts like he commentates. I'm gonna start I, getting drunk I like it commentates. before my before my commentaries. I'm gonna get loaded. <laughs> and it's the truth. A lot of these guys have fake personalities on their commentaries, and it's like, yeah. okay, that's a good business decision, but I can't bring myself to do that. That's can't funny. Do- I've met a lot of commentators too, and I don't want to. Trevor and and Taylor act just like they commentate. Yeah, but Onslaught, I think I have actually even yeah I met Onslaught. He's cool too. Yeah, but you, but I will say this you know, without calling anyone out. There are a lot of guys who's um. You know, online personality doesn't match their in real life personality. Heck, you know what, Wings? As I think about it, your online personality didn't match your in real life personality. It does? No. So my experience with you know Jordy as opposed to Wings was that in real life you were much more sensitive, much more caring. In real life, you were I, I, like almost uh, gentle. Sounds like a put down. It's not what I'm going for. But <laughs> you, you know, <laughs> you were nice to everybody, and uh, you know there were. Uh, and I don't mean to. Ma- none of this is meant to be put down. None of this, is, but there was like an endearing level of insecurity, right? You know, whereas like the Wings <laughs> of Redemption in a lobby is full of bravado. I'm the best player to ever exist. I can beat Syndicate in zombies, right? Like, but the Wings, <laughs> but the Wings of Redemption that I met in real life in Beverly Hills, you know. It, it, like not everything is easy for him. Not everything is so great. And, 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 you know, he's, he's caring about other people and, and, you know, he was, he was true and honest and he was himself, but you know, he wasn't, uh, you know, like beat you over the head with self-confidence kind of guy at Beverly Hills. Would you lick his face? Well, at the one time. Yeah. Just one time. Wait, 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 wait. You did, or you, or you would? Yeah, but you see me. You see me. You see me at the point I almost got in a fist fight th- uh, twice on an airplane. I mean, okay, I wasn't there for that. Yeah, yeah we you didn't. were. You seen the aftermath of it. Like it really affected me because weight something I've always battled, 
and then you got motherfuckers ready to fight <laughs> you because of a fucking plane seat. Okay, so I wasn't going to detail, but since you brought it up. So so what happens is Wings flew out to L.A., and because uh, Wings is a big guy, he didn't sit comfortably in one seat. And the person next to him, I think on both flights on the way up, yeah, both flights, they weren't nice about it. You know, they acted like Wings was being a jerk or something, and it hurt his feelings. And, um, you know, that weighed heavy on his mind over the course of the weekend. And that actually was the, invul- the the sensitivity or vulnerability that I was referring to that I found endearing, right? You know, Wings is like, the, I, hope I, I hope I'm allowed to say this. Wings was saying things like, you know what, I feel kind of trapped out here. Like, it, it bothers me that I have to fly home and endure this again. I, you know, is there something I can do? He was, um, he was weighing his options with renting a car and driving all the way from Beverly Hills to South Carolina. If you're in Europe, that's across the, the whole damn continent. <laughs> and uh, That's a long fucking drive. It's, it would that's be like easy. a five-day drive. But Wings, you know, he didn't want to endure the, the flight again. And, uh, um, you know, look, so I, I found Wings to be a really nice guy in real life and uh, somewhat endearingly vulnerable compared to, <laughs> like, the guy we just saw on PKA saying, you know, Tom, trust me, I'm better than you at zombies. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Which, yeah, but, I, but see, I really do think that. I mean, like, how many games have you seen me play where I didn't – I wasn't really, really good at? Like, I just posted Dead Space. I started playing Dead Space three days ago, and I did the toughest achievement in the game within two tries. Like, having having confidence behind yourself is always a great thing. If you go through life going, I'm not the best, someone else is the best. You know, you're yeah. not exactly I, I, the best. I know I'm not the you best Call of Duty player. Motivation. But, if you've got that motivation behind you just, like, from having it and not just faking to yourself, like, I could go, like, oh, I'm the best multiplayer, you know, even though I know I'm not. Uh, I look at it this I, way. I'm never going to say, like, like with multiplayer, I am the best because there's some really good people out there. But with zombies, you can be the best to the standard of you can teach anyone who's never done it before. I look at it like this. I'm not the best Call of Duty player, but I bet you if you put me in the same room as the as the best, I could hang with him. Yeah, what's well, never... up to? Is how good they are. I, I mean, he might beat me, but he ain't go, he ain't gonna blow me out. That's that's all I ever care to be. Can we call it? Wings, do you see yourself as the one of the well in your in your eyes? Are you the best multiplayer person? Uh, on YouTube right now, like as for all games played. I think no, like are you the best Call of Duty player? Because if you say think you know you, you have that like thought. Uh, commentator, are you the commentator, best? commentator wise. Yeah, what would you say you're the best at then? I'm probably the best like with online ability commentating, like most consistent player there is. So, There's so a you, couple other really you're, good you're the ones, best right? Commentator, like, are you the best player? Fear Credits, Mark of J, they're very good players. You think you're better yeah. than them? Yes, I think I have more round, well-rounded skills. I, I'd go with a heartbeat, saying better in Fear Credits than Mark of J. Because I've played with them both, and I've seen how many times I've led the lobby over them, almost every time. I mean, just because you have a high KD, like Mark J has a way better KD than I do, mainly mm-hmm. because he plays ground war. You got to factor in those extra three people, and you got to average those into fucking chopper gunners. That yeah. is a, a big kill increase. If right. I had a ground war KD, if I could use the FAMAS and everything else I wanted to use, hell, I'd have a five KD. I wouldn't prove I'll say that. This. On my uh, my space orange account, it's got an eight point three five KD. If we uh, if we play comp playlist, I would backpack most people. Yeah, I mean I can hang with competitive playlist. I mean, I mean I usually play with Hastro and Tosh right in the well, competitive I, playlist. Do you actually like? Do you honestly camp a lot in your gameplays? Do Is this you what you do? Camp- like intense I, gameplay. I, I, don't, I don't watch your gameplays. That's the thing. So I don't know I how do, well you play. I do what needs to be done to win. That that's like I'd say you're right in saying doing what needs to be done to win, but is that bringing like? Do you get people say, oh, all you do is camp in your games? Are people just? Dude, used I to can that? I can rush full out with the MP5K rapid fire, and I, they'll still say you camped because it's stopped the flow. Oh, you played the game. Yeah, you let that weigh on your mind so much. I mean, like fuck it, I, I'll stay in one spot the entire game. I, I posted videos where I've done it. I went thirty and zero on fucking salvage on Modern Warfare Two. I did hold the M16, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on that on that uh, truck, right? On the, yes. like, the snow plow thing. But you're, yeah. are, you, are you then playing against the person you complain about? You complain about campers. Like you'll hear a lot of commentators go, about "I no. hate campers." You know, I hate them. You know, like he's people complaining say, about oh, the people. Sit a wall he is like the that. guy that others complain about. Yeah, so you are <laughs> yeah. the guy that people complain about. That's, that's, yeah. that's what I'm trying to just say. But I like. I also like to point out that I, that I camp all this time, but I usually lead the party. Usually lead lobbies with full teams. Is this with kill streaks? 
getting your high kill streaks, you know, because you'll, yeah, you'll get I... them kill streaks, then you'll yes. get that chop gun, and then you'll reach the top of the board because you've got you know your other team controlling the map. Pub stomping it's, it's, it, so you know, it's is it, just are you best at that. Well, it, it, you're making it sound like I'm a pub stomper, literally. Like I, I, I don't play it. MLG, but the fact is, I've played enough with MLG players that I could easily hang in that in that environment. Ah, right. Yeah, like, you've seen how they play, and you know how you play. So you can, so from your gameplay and how well you do, you can, oh, can, can right compare yourself to others. Yeah, there you go. If I yeah. was if I was on an MLG team, the role I would play would be what you call support slave. You're, you're the one who just like it just like. I mean, let me put it this way: the, the only did? time I will lose support. online is if I run into a full team and I'm down men and my kill streaks are high and I'm not prepared for the challenge they're about to put on me, and they come in there with their counter spy planes going super try hard. That's and even then, they'll wings? barely beat me. That is the thing that beats me most. They Who? can. You've seen the scores they come out with. You've seen the plays they've played against. Them three have been like, I didn't even best. hear what three, but I'm going to guess. Fear the game and Marco J? Exactly. And yeah, I'm pretty sure look, everyone in the, like people in the comments know this as well. Because people yeah. are already saying that when people are saying, you know, no offense to it, you know, Wings is not better than them following three. Yeah, the thing wings if you want cuz then three that, okay, I threw you the extra balls mad for people saying that shit. You have to beat them. You know, if if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. Like I that's don't have the, to beat them. I well, beat them so many times in a regular room and Call of Duty is not a one-on-one -on -one environment. The situation where Fear Crash and all them won the the thing you and Syndicate were in, that's not a realistic scenario. The fact is, it's 12 people on maps that don't, that, that you you have people spawning in front of other people. There was times where I seen like the game 360 go on a negative 14 kill streak. Like I even commented on because I was the one doing the color commentary on that shit. I'm like the game has died 14 times in a row now. What they were doing, I'm, I'm gonna give Mark J Wait, credit was, here. Was that Mark the first J, time round, though, because the Mark second J, one they, they split it up, didn't they? So it was smaller teams. So I didn't even watch this. I didn't even watch the second one. I only the second watch, one, then know. three came top again. I, I think that's a good policy. Well, by the way, anybody that says, told me to shut up, you're getting banned from the stream. Yeah, guys, knock it off on the shut up thing. Like, I'm not upset about anything, dude. I just know <laughs> what I, I know what I've been to, and I've played with every single commentator there is. Who to said play. I've, got, I've got quite a lot of friends who, you know, like in the same frame of mind, and it's like, there's no change in it. I know, you know, I am the best, and it's just like, that's great, but I've played them. They're not. It's the end of story. So like I haven't played you, so you, I know you'd slam me down in like most of the games, but like I could I could put up a fight against you know in like COD Four Man of Two World of War, but then throw me in Dude, against Black Ops. You would get I'd destroyed get in World of War. I, I have never lost. That's the that's the, the most like most common ones I've played, and the most is COD Four Man of Two, and I could probably beat you in them two. In all honesty, because if I run huh. the guns, I can run any guns I want to run. There's no kill streaks. There's no bull going on. What you'll go M16s on Bog right now? That that could go. Yeah, you know, I, I would go. You know, for it. I would, honest, I would do it. My two I'm, not the, I'm not the person who's like, if I lose, I'm not gonna be like, oh, <laughs> you know, I'd do it for the fun of it. I'd go for it. Let's do it. So what map are we playing? I'll get my ass slapped. I know I will, but I'd still do it. See, the thing is, it, it Bog. You said wings. Yes, yeah, Bog. bog See, I, I was thinking, isn't Dome the one where, like, oh, he wants to do World at War? Oh yeah, we'll do World at War. I haven't got Get my disc right now. <laughs> You're stepping into um, Wings' wheelhouse. Like, you know, I'll, pl you I'll notice... play, you know, play Bog, Call of Duty 4, M16s. I'll Dude, I, I, I've beaten almost every commentary that was willing to 1v1 me in World at War. <laughs> yeah. I... Bog's not on World at War, is it? So that's a COD 4 map, isn't it? Forgive, yeah, me, a map. forgive me while I talk trash for I'll a moment play you. I'll play you on COD 4 Wings. But shipment on COD 4 is, is one spot where I perform above my level. Shoot. Check me up, Wings. It is. I mean, but like this, this, this right here is actually this right here is going to prove nothing because Syndicate's going to have my connection. He's going to be oh, playing yeah. across the street. We're I'm game not going to play unless I have host. Game <laughs> done, <laughs> game done so, baby. Ooh. We we do game, um, we're doing this now. You going to go buy the game Dunzo server? Be my guest. No, no, no. We can set that up, right? A ready up server? Yeah, if you want to set that up like either. Well, we How much money you we paying can do it on me? Later tonight, but I'll have to go in the other room. How much money are you paying me? I You're getting none of my money. You can do it for free right now, <laughs> or you can pay like a thousand dollars later. <laughs> I get paid no, 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 we'll to do the wild no, thing. The thing is, like, I'll, I even went in the commentator showdown against some of the biggest like names, and I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to stand a chance. And like, just because I got sparred in the other one, in the other two games after that, I was like, fair enough, I got sparred. 
to like a lot of you know like a lot of deaths. But in in the first game, I came second against some of the best ones, and I'm not saying like that gives you the confidence to go shouting your mouth off. But you know what? I I, I held my I held my ground on that, and I did pretty well. Hey, by the way, I'm anybody wants some sub me? F your f it ass. You a bitch. Don't worry about the stream. <laughs> there. It, it, let's get back. No, that's the thing. Honestly, I, 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 I have no problem playing anyway. Anyway. Like, like, to, If Woody wanted to say, like, Woody called me out on, like, if it's multiplayer, when it comes to zombies, you know, you get everyone calling you out on zombies, like, everyone, and it's like, great, mm -hmm. you know, what do you want to do, race to points? Because there's so many things that come into take, you know, that can change a game <laughs> on zombies. But if it comes into a game like multiplayer, you know, like, where I'm going to say, you know, you can, someone calls you out and you can actually fully stand up to that persona of, I am the best, then, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it, because it's just fun. Like I go Yo, for it, and if I, I get my hat, if I, if I get beat, then I'm gonna go. Any f I'm just gonna point to you and just go. He's the best. Well, he. No, beat, you know he the beat. reason I don't do it. Because if you I won. happen, to, if I happen to lose, I hear about it for years. years, 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 years. So like, if you lost against me, would you hear that for years? Yes, Probably not, because I, I wouldn't bring it up again. No, but everybody in the stream would, and then they would tell somebody else, and then, then people that don't like me would get to it and start coming to but, the videos saying it. Yeah, but why'd you care? But I know I'm, I'm not gonna lose to you. But why would you care if you did lose? Like, should, let me tell you, Hutch beat me on Call of Duty 4 on shipment. I you but he lost to me every other map on the game. And Woody was there to see it. On on his host connection, he lost badly on every other map in the game. Be <laughs> I think that's right. That is right. Yeah. Oh, so, so, like, you played one game and then... No, we played that? we played his rules on ship, and I'm like, all right, let's yeah. play other maps. And he got like the last game where he finally quit oh, it was so, fourteen you know, like, and two. So it's his turn. So like you said, bug. It's like if we play if we get a game done, so game up on bug, you know, we'll just play that out, and then it's as simple as that. So we're using the same set, the same perks. That's what I didn't like about the commentator games, you know, is because they, even it was like I'm on offer two and Black Ops and stuff. What I think I think I asked you. I go I go M16s on bug. I even said the weapon. Yeah, if it's the same perk, if we're running the same perks, the same equipment, you know, everything the same. Then sure, if it's, you know, if, and then if we get an equal connection, then hey, th there's no bullshit. There you go. M16, UDK. red dot, bandolier, stopping power, deep impact. There you Come go. On, redneck. I need some practice. Get on. It's 1v1. All right, All right That's then. Big. I'd do that, man. That'd be awesome. Like, honestly, I will I will have you a game. All right. Dom. That'd be awesome. Give me a like, minute. Should we do it now? Uh, or should I? Yeah, yeah. We're doing it, we're doing it now. We'll do it, do it live. Bye. Yeah, like, <laughs> I won't be able to talk when we're in there, though. Why not? The other room. Oh, wait, you could talk on Skype. Oh, no, I know, but I can't. Oh, I can't. I yeah, different room. My Xbox yeah, is not on my computer. Down there. You'll be able to listen? Yeah, yeah. Of course okay, we'll. very good. All right, so, uh, guys, I'm going to go change the CD in my Xbox, and I'll be right back. I use Bach because it's the most wide open map. It actually tests your shot anywhere from more than just close range. All right, so we're going to start this. I think everyone's going to spectate except Wings and Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spectate. Here we go. I got my sexy-ass blue camo. Who do I watch? Who you don't Let's watch? Let's do it, Marines. Right now I'm watching Marines. Oh, right. so, how do I go to this yeah. guy? Uh, you probably, probably should have parade our own, so I can sit there and be a big sound horn now. Oh, he's and using the hill on me. I didn't go to spec, so it has to be changed. Oh, come on. All I can see was his head. Yeah. Whoever gets the trash pile on this map, pretty much gonna. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm still playing with the redneck rules on. This is actually a pretty good show, I think. I got the 
Yeah. Spectate here. I think it's. Are you watching the stream at all? Yeah, it looks good on the on the stream. Set my yeah. beautiful red bar. <laughs> basically, basically yeah. he has the advantage right now because he's using the trash pile. Yeah, normally when we play like friends, we always say no heal. Just yeah. Because <laughs> Cause if, you, if you stay there, you can control the spawns, yeah. So he left the hill. He might have heard that and started playing by your rules. He can't talk. Yeah. He's only up 2 1. Sorry, I'm not doing a good job of uh, showing me. And Pro Syndicate goes prone, face down, ass up. That's the way he likes to. How about that? Yeah. I should be doing it. I should be doing it better. <laughs> and Syndicate's up three to one. Shots on target. Shots on target. Went four to one. Four to one. Wings, you can mute me if you like. <laughs> oh, oh! Syndicate goes down. Wings of Redemption closing the lead by a little bit. Wings of Redemption takes the trash pile. Now Wings of Redemption has the trash pile. We'll see if he can make good use of it. Syndicate's using flaming dumpster. They see each other. Lines are up. Oh, since shots on Syndicate. Syndicate heals. Oh, jumping. Jump high. There's no dolphin dive in spot four. Oh, Syndicate down. Four to three, four to three. Anybody's game. Miracle Nade almost hit its target. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he hit the pipe calls. Miracle Nade. Black Ops, that wouldn't even have touched him. You know? <laughs> Nobody on the trash pile. Uh oh, Wings knows where he is. Does Syndicate know where he is? Game on. Syndicate gets the shots on target. Six to three, Syndicate. I feel syndicated. <laughs> I am. Oh, oh, here it is. We've got the show. Syndicate gets another kill. Oh, I don't think Syndicate knew where Wings was, but he does now. Give me up. Lord. Ooh, syndicate up eight to four. <laughs> Yo, everybody in the stream, tweet out Twitch TV Woody's gamer tag. Get the views up. <laughs> that was a lot for a live stream. How many live streams you you see when there's actually people playing just for the hell of it? You know. Uh. Syndicate rocking the 10th prestige, showing that he is no COD 4 noob. <laughs> is he still sitting over there, just crouching? I'm sorry, I can't tell you where he is. <laughs> it wouldn't be right. Yeah, you're supposed to put radar on on these things. Okay. Well, that, that, you know, we didn't talk about that until the game started. Five and a half minutes to go. Syndicate. Why is there a timer on it? <sighs> I'm pretty sure. Supposed to be first to 100. 100? Yes, it's, it's 20 kills. Oh, 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 it's to 150. It's at the, uh, whatever that is, 15. Bobby, I want to teach you how to sell propane. I could play like a bitch like he is, but I ain't got the time to do it now. I think Syndicate's been watching some of my videos. That's it. I think Syndicate uh, has been watching my videos. Not only is he no longer suicidal, but he's winning in Call of Duty. I'm taking credit for both. <laughs> he's been picking up girls lately. Look here. Let me, let me, why don't you go and make a comment that there's not been a shot fired in almost two minutes because Syndicate's laying on his belly somewhere. No, he's not. He's... Headshot. The Domsky. 
<laughs> I want to shoutcast this, but I'd be shoutcasting everybody's positions in the yeah. game. Yeah. And you'd be doing it in my ear. Yeah, I just realized that. I was, I was only getting crunk, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, how about we end this and just go ahead and cut the radar on? All right, I lost Syndicate. Did he Skype me? I can't find him in the... Dude, he's just hiding. Look, I'm looking at the map right now. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. I see him. He's not hiding. He's looking for you. I'm standing on the fucking open. He, he can't see this because he's too busy laying on his belly half the time. That's not true. Like, we can all see what he's doing. He's, he's hunting for you. Yeah, he's not doing a good job. He's not gonna fight. See, I wouldn't have to worry about this if radar was on. I know exactly where he's at, and it'd be a gun on gun confrontation. Now I gotta worry about getting first shot on because M16 is a one shot on this. Clutch yeah, grenade! I, I saw that coming, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's clutch. See, I'm, what I'm seeing right now, the way that Syndicate and Wings are playing together, proves to me nobody's stream watching. Like, I've seen Wings, I, I guess it's fair to say, falsely accused Syndicate of really not playing. And I've seen Syndicate looking in totally the wrong direction. Yeah. You know, they're, they're playing straight up. I'm just glad I'm just glad they're playing because there's a lot yeah. of people there's a lot of people that would not play that was just like yeah I probably won't be on painkill already again <laughs> I uh yeah I'm with you right now I play too you know I don't I don't always win but I'm there you know yeah. like you, commentator showdown goes on like I knew that was a tough lobby to do well in but I was there Wings, did you spawn in? I'm, I broke my controller. You broke your controller? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing, you fucking faggot. Oh, Wings, I think oh, you are. Oh, I don't fucking days. suck. Fucking Stream that shit. It was your idea. No, I didn't say stream it. Yeah, I thought it was your idea. I'll play. Right, Nick, I'll take you. You ready? Damn. Yeah, I'm not no sound. I'm gonna have my Riddler. PC yeah, I on. actually don't have any sound at all. So, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to download. I'm, I'm in this state. All right, so Syndicate, leave us alone. I'm going to go up against Redneck. Please go. Please go. Oh. Three foot off. We're using the same stuff. 
the uh, M16. Yeah, I I the same time. Please, please cancel the stream. It's just me playing, Link. I don't give a f Please cancel the stream. I do not want to hear these fuckers talk. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. I. Uh, uh, to help out my friend Wings here, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks for coming, and uh, I'll see you guys next week, I think. So, oh wait, wait, the room's in. You know what? We... All right, I'm gonna cancel the stream. I'm gonna cancel the stream. Wings asked for it, and uh, um, sorry about that. Have a good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, have a nice day. Peace. Uh, are we are we private now? Not yet. Like, ah, the oh, syndicate one v one. That's a good syndicate one v one. So it, I don't know. Is that when he? I think I vaguely know this. Like I said, I'm still kind of like, I it, it's I've made my way through the compilations. I've had my girlfriend tell me her stories of them laughing at him from back in the day, and I've heard some of the rumors and stuff. Was this the one where he challenged somebody to a one v one, and then he threw like a fit because he lost <laughs> let me lay this one out it's exactly that so yeah, hit me with the story on this one. uh we have a guy on our podcast wings is one of our hosts at the time this is maybe four years ago and the guy is known for being the best call of duty zombies player on the planet and his, his youtube channel is kind of skyrocketing largely because he's so good at call of duty zombies six years ago Woody. <laughs> six years ago thank you yeah. um what wings doesn't realize is that he's actually good at the multiplayer version of Call of Duty as well. That's what he did before he got famous. Anyway, during the show, for hours and hours, Wings is wildly disrespectful to this guy. Just shutting him down, acting like he's not a gamer. Like you know, he, just, he says that he'd be much better at zombies on his first game. He doesn't even play zombies, but if he were to, he'd be much better than the, the best player on the planet. He's telling him he And this was not like banter back and forth. It was Tom or Syndicate being very courteous back to wings being pretty aggressive and rude Perfect. so he's goading the guy non-stop yeah. basically shitting all goading over him. implies a, shitting all over him is better goading implies better. like yeah. a, a level of social sophistication that isn't there that he doesn't, he doesn't have <laughs> right right so so he's just shitting on this guy all show long and then at one point he challenges him to a 1v1 on bog now a thing you need to know about wings is his style of gameplay he's actually very very good at these across the map sort of accuracy based thing, you know, where, where we're both behind cover, we both have two or three pixels to aim at. That is Wing's cup of tea. That's what he's strong mm -hmm. at. So he sets the rules up and he says, we have to use M16. It has to be on bog. It has to be, he lays it all out there so it's to his advantage. I'm host, which is another big thing because I'm in North Carolina, Wings of Redemption's in South Carolina, and Syndicate is in the UK. Right, so so Syndicate has all this lag and trouble to deal with, whereas uh, Wings is next to host practically. Right, he's a couple hundred miles from me. Mm -hmm. It goes on, Wings loses, and uh, to get into the, the details of it, he gets behind, which means that he has to start taking some risks, you know, to catch up, and that just leads to being further behind. And eventually, he throws the controller, rages, and blames me for streaming it. As if it were a surprise. I mean, we all agreed they were going to stream 1v1. It was, it was like there's thousands of people watching. Well, he goes ballistic. And uh, he asks if we can turn off the... It, in the aftermath of it, we're all like, you know, it's okay, Wings. Like, I understand this sucks. I've been there. And he's like, what? I don't f***ing suck. You shut up, you f***ing f it to me, right? That's what he's saying. I'm being nice to him. He's cursing me out, calling me a f it, stuff like that. I try to like change the topic and play 1v1 against a different guy. You know, like let's just mm -hmm. put that in the past and move on. He doesn't want that. He wants to end the stream, so we do. After the stream ends, he's continually threatening this guy. He says he's going to break his teeth out with a mag light, that if he was there, he would kill him. And he goes like nuts on it. And Tom, on the other hand, is also known as Syndicate, is just being cool about the whole thing. Like, you, look, man, you know, you win some, you lose some. Like, don't, don't make too well, big a deal why, out of it. Why, why is he getting so... Uh, he, I guess this would be my mindset. You said this guy is really good, top of the rank, right? Like it, mm -hmm. At zombies. At, not yeah, at zombies, yeah. But, I mean, so he... Uh, just the game in general, then, he would be proficient at, I would imagine. So, sure. Yeah. You know, if you're going against somebody like that and you lose, you'd be like, okay, well, I lost. Maybe you talk a little bit of shit, but you'd be like, well, the guy's good. Right? I, I got a loss. I got a loss. Wings thinks he's great. You would great. think so. Wings is, 
uh, self appreciation is out of this world. You know, it, the, he he legit thought for a while that he was better than all the pro gamers, that he was better at quick scoping than the quick scopers, better at zombies than the zombies guy, better anyone that at everything. He plays all his games on hard mode, right? As if that was some sort of like you know, yeah. qualification to be an outstanding gamer. So he was surprised that the number one zombie player on the planet was better than him. He didn't see that coming. And you say, why is he making such a big deal of a loss? You also have to recognize, and maybe you do, that it's not just a game to him. This is his living. This is his sense of self-worth. This is like being good at games. Yeah. It's takes not a lot just of his finances, but who he is. That's like as a man, he is a dominant gamer. That's one. Did of Did you mention the part where he tried to bribe Syndicate to lose the the rematch? We didn't get there. Wait, yet. he tried. Oh, yeah. God, see, so, that's, now we got to get to that part. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to pick up where I was, as soon as the call ends, he starts threatening Tom. He's going nuts about it. He, he's, he's like lots of violence. I'm gonna bash your teeth out. I'm gonna do this. He, I think he said he was gonna have teeth soup. I think that was one of the things where where he busts his teeth out with a maglite, and then he's just there with a bloody mouthful of teeth. And and, and this is what we, he said he would kill him. He said if he was near. If, if he was closer, he would literally kill this man for beating him in a 1v1. And uh, a little time passes and, like, Keemstar gets involved in this. Keemstar was always uh, opportunistic about um, when he found drama. And he's like, we'll set up a 1v1 with you guys. We'll put, I forget what it was, like $5,000 on the line. And, uh, and then winner take all. And jo Wings came to him and said, look, we'll do this. We'll do a 1v1. You throw it. You uh, Look, I'm going to win anyway because I'm Wings of Redemption. But but you throw it just to lock that in. And then I'll keep... I think... What did he want the split to be? It was it to his... See, see, that's the best part. Wings would keep the lion's share and get the victory. Mm-hmm. Well, that's, it, not, it, that's not how a bribe works. That's not how bribes work. <laughs> yeah. So he, I think it might have been 3 2, it might have been 4 1, but Wings was keeping the bulk of the money. And then Tom, who just beat him, was supposed to lose on purpose. And Wings felt like, but you will get that 1,000 in public humiliation. Oh, well, you should take what you can get. That often, right? He uh, jumped right on that and said, that sounds great to me. He took Absolutely. an alternative yeah. route where he took a screenshot of the Skype conversation and tweeted it out to the world. <laughs> That's amazing. See, I would have done that. I would have absolutely, <laughs> yeah, that absolutely done that and laughed about it for weeks. And and if Wings Wings to this day thinks that the Syndicate 1v1 loss was a big part of his loss of popularity, it really wasn't. You know, he, no, he could have just laughed that off and it would have been nothing. But his reaction to it was a part of his loss of popularity. The bribing was a part of his loss of popularity. And um, it really wasn't about his gameplay at all. <laughs> uh. Oh, you messed it up. You messed up our return. It was going to like we had it all planned out. We had lines. We had stuff. Go. Why the fuck you stream that shit, you fucking faggot? Because you told, you told me to. That's right, Pinky. Already is back, motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 oh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> and Woody's looking tan as ever. Ah, uh, yeah, just got back sailing around the world, baby. That's how we roll. Hey, um, does someone have their like the stream playing through their speakers? Um, I, muted. I can't see no like like somebody HD muted. quality, but like I've got no feed of Woody in his room. Oh, I do. <laughs> it's glorious. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. He's got like a he's got a Sherlock Holmes lamp or something on. I know, right? Like, like it's like an, there's like an oil lamp burning in the corner. <laughs> you guys. Like, I, I, I really, I like he's he's jerking, he's messing with us. He's got some sort of lighting going on. I want him to turn like the room light off and like leave whatever that oil lamp is on. <laughs> and it would feel like Father Time was reading us a story by the you know this is this is nice. You know, if I was in it, see what happens when it, you take four weeks off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fucking... I know. I lost my streaming knowledge. <laughs> Some people are telling me to start it, but it already started, so I think they need to refresh. Tell me if the if that if somebody shouldn't put like, you know, Woody's gamer tag approved on the background of that picture. Somebody said chicken wings of redemption and it made me really want some chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> Here. There you go. I, I've been wanting Winks to do a cooking show forever where he shows how to make hot wings of redemption. 
Yeah, we're well, supposed to be making those. Turn, Why do you look at me? Turn your mic on. Tell them about the Hot Wings of Redemption. No, yes, no, come no, on. No. Come on. Stop. Talk about old Hot Wings of Redemption. Pull your mic down. There you go. She can do it. We're all on her side. She's got support. She's not alone in this thing. She's an We're amazing all together. cook. Same team. Amazing cook. Amazing commentator. Tell us about Chicken Wings of Redemption or whatever we're, list what we're going to talk about. Jordy wants me to make my own hot sauce, but I I don't want to do it. So because I I actually want to market this shit. So if, if shit catches off, I want oh, to have dude. hot sauce ready for it. Dude, I was so I promise you, I will buy a bottle of Hot Wings of Redemption grilling sauce if you make it. I'll buy a bottle. It's gonna be. I want a cayenne pepper based because I love cayenne peppers. But but I want I, your picture has to be on the bottle, and you have to be like, yeah, it's my sauce. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good sauce. Oh That's, my God. I, I I would so buy some of that sauce, and I'd use it. I'd put it in everything. The catch line be like the only sauce that requires silk pants. <laughs> yep, there you go. That's awesome. I'll put, a, I'll put a pre roll on my videos. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. Uh, I'm actually really hungry. I haven't eaten today. I didn't eat today. I forgot again. I I would, but I, we've been trying to work on the sauce, like. She's she's discovered like my secret special power in life. Spicy foods. Yes. Which I, I made chili for you yesterday or the other day. I can eat almost anything spicy and not even like get a runny nose. I made Could super super, super hot chili. Yes. Yesterday we had super hot chili. Ate two bowls before the, before the uh before the guests got here. And then tell them about tell them about the Mexican restaurant. Oh yeah! If you go to El Cerro Grande, we have it's a Mexican restaurant chain down here, and if you go there and you want like the hottest, hottest hot sauce they have in the restaurant, the cook will bring out this little bottle, and it's got like habaneros. Uh, it, it's all habaneros, and it's just the capsaicin from the habanero pepper. Yikes. Yeah. Which is the cells, the spicy cells and stuff in it. Uh -huh. And he'll bring out, it has a little uh, picture of like South America on it. And it's all written in Spanish. And he brings this little bottle out. So Jordy puts it all over his burrito. Which were covered in habaneros to begin with. <laughs> yes. And then they put hot sauce on top of it. He was crying. I wasn't by crying. The time. Oh, yeah, sure. I was. Oh, yeah, sure. I was not crying. <laughs> so busted. You were crying like a baby. I was not crying. So, you know where I found My this stuff? My stomach pitted. I went sh grocery shopping the next day at Walmart, and they sell this stuff. It's red. They have a red kind, which is the hot, hot kind, or they have the green kind. So, I bought a little bottle because it's like a dollar something, and I put it on the table when we had chili and didn't say a word. I actually have a webcam for those people hilarious. who are asking, and it is hooked up. No. But my ability to stream is little to nothing. Somebody so wings, said they love you... my nipples. <laughs> what? I was going to ask Wings, are you, are you one of those people that can, you can eat that stuff and it doesn't really phase you? The really hot sauces? It's like this. Like, I can eat stuff that most people would like drink water after and it wouldn't even affect me. All I could taste is the vinegar out of it. Because mainly that's why I taste hot sauce. It's straight up vinegar. And like, it takes something extremely hot to even make me do that like it like you'd have to have like like that burrito was like raw habaneros and i took raw habanero sauce put it over top of it you know it had hot sauce in it you had red peppers and shit inside the burrito and what happens to me is my stomach pits like and i know that's when it's time to stop because what, what it is your stomach pits, pits. like it's, it's like, like, is it feels like, like a, feels like there's like a fist inside of my stomach and it feels like i'm just put, pouring gas on top of it and if I don't stop, I'm on, my body's going to throw it back up. That That's a horrible stopping indicator. Like, that yeah. tells me you should have stopped a while ago. Yeah. That's, that's like, you know, I can eat a lot, except I have this little, uh, little issue that I get when I do. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I die. I die. Yeah. Every time. They got to they gotta jolt me back, you know, defibrillator and everything. But it, it's worth it. It's so but good. <laughs> the, fact, the fact is, that's when I'm like just showing off it when that usually happens. Like when I'm eating exactly. stuff that you wouldn't want to touch and like touch your face afterwards. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the kind of stuff that burns your fingers when you touch it. <laughs> like, like bleach. Is anybody stuff. else thinking what I'm thinking? 
Wow, you need better, better explanations. What are you thinking? So much better explanation. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Was there a sex joke I missed? I'm usually on top of those. Only if you're disgusting like me. <laughs> only, only if you have like motherless.com open right now. That's, you know, like with Google Chrome, um, you know, when you open a new window, it has the top six visited pages. My top six are um, YouTube, 4chan, Craigslist, um, VidStats, Facebook, Gmail, and Motherless. Oh, my God. Not in that order. That's the top six. Shoot, I got, I got YouTube, Craigslist, Netflix, VidStats, Twitter, and Google. And I got Craigslist twice. And never. <clears throat> I'm a beast. Bro, what do you, you guys hate? Go ahead, Wings. I told you what it is. You're a, produc you're a production supervisor. You walk around with your hands in your pockets. You probably turned to wrench in eight years, and you want to sit there and talk about gall of working hard. So you have a f***ing cake job. Your job is f***ing cake. What do you do is you hold your hands in your pocket. You wait to the f***ing safety meeting in the morning so you can suck up to some, some f***ing big wigs. Then you go home and you drink your f***ing Miller Lite while it sounds like you're doing. Uh, wing Wings, I don't know if you heard him. He said he worked for 12 years before he got that management spot. You worked for 12 years. Oh my God! It doesn't f***ing matter. You don't think I've ever worked? You ever rebuilt a melt furnace? I bet you f***ing have it. You ever jack tack jackhammered out a f***ing furnace after it froze off? I bet you f***ing have it. You ever painted a 40-ton crane? What things is sand drinker? No, actually, I'm just I'm on my phone. I'm actually at work because I have a job. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, I actually at work because you have a job. You know what? I did your f***ing job for five years, and you know what? I make more money now than I did at that job in one day of the week than I did. Wings, and that's what I'm saying. You make a lot of money, but all you do is But the fact is, the more money you make, the more responsibility you take on. You're also failing to neglect. You're talking about people taking $120 out of their check to feed their family. Look here, son. Wings, but, you know, I respect what you do. Don't get me wrong. I, you know, a lot of people like me in your position, you know, that it's just when you complain about like your taxes and, and all that, like when well, well, the taxes are your problem, when you make all that money, you know you gotta pay your taxes, so you know you can't complain about that. You know, all I'm saying is, is, is you complain about a lot of the things that a lot of people would love to be in your position, and, and you make it seem like it's such a terrible, terrible, terrible life. And you, you know what you make it seem like? You make it seem like I've never worked a real job. Now, El Prestador is saying to Wings that he's turning you in to the FBI Wings for a threat <laughs> on his family. What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts, no are, my thoughts are what Woody's doing is laughing because <laughs> if he wants to take it to that level, the fact is he supported me myself, which is the Megan Meyer case, which is already something I can reference in a court of law versus, you know, superficial false things. I mean, Yes, I did say, oh, you know, I'd kill, but guess what? I was doing it in a joking manner. And even then, I even went on so far to say it was a joke because he at no point took it as a threat means it holds no validity. Wings, can I ask you a question? Yes. All right, so when I was watching the Twitter feed unfold, like this is how it played in my own head. I, I saw, you know, you upset and I know you, right? You're a guy who thinks a little bit short term. You know, when cash comes in the bank, you feel wealthy. When the bills roll in, you feel broke. When the views are high, you feel, you know, if you have a good day view wise, you feel like things are awesome. If you have a single bad day view, day, view wise, you worry that the world is crashing. So I watched you on YouTube and I thought, you know what? He's not joking or putting on his at hoax. He's just a guy who has extreme feelings and expresses like there's no sort of long term, you know, uh, like <laughs> moderation filter on there. Now, if I get 700,000 views today and 30,000 views tomorrow, I feel like I got 730,000 views over two days. You feel like, oh my gosh, my channel crashed today. You know, the world is ending. Wings, it's been kind of, uh, it's kind of been you versus the world tonight. Oh, uh, it's always me versus the world, dude. It's been like that for the last three years of my career. I'm pretty. The world then. I'm pretty. I'm pretty much, you know, 
you know, Scarface of the YouTube community. I'm the bad guy. I'm the camper. I'm the I'm everything that personifies everything I bad. Say that way. You were the Scarface of the YouTube community. That, dude, if that was me, I would immediately make that my YouTube channel's tagline. Like, <laughs> screw number one source of Black Ops whatever. I'm the Scarface of the YouTube community. It, it, dude, I think I've, got, I've gotten to a point where this is a straight-up job and there's no fun to be had in it. Because I wake up every day thinking... I've got a question. i got a question for Wings. It's a serious question. I'm being a dick or anything. But, I mean, where do you see yourself in, like, five years? I mean, not everybody can be the Simpsons. I mean, you're not going to be able to do this for 20 years, right? I, I don't plan on doing this for 20 years. No, I don't. What I plan on doing is working my way into a slumlord type position, or even that, just working my way to a, uh, just trying to work my way to my bills are paid down so I can work a $10 an hour job and just pay utilities. That's that's my goal in life. Is a landlord that doesn't take care of the properties. What happens when I first started making real money on YouTube? I also took on a, basically inherited a family when I got into a relationship with Shalene. And I spent most of my money trying to keep her up, and um, I wasn't really good with taxes because I just came from a job where you know everything was took out for me. So I ended up getting really in debt with the IRS. But the fact is, I have an account now, and I'm back on track. I mean, I'm by no means in, you know financial ruin right now, and you know even if I have a bad month this month, it's not going to be the end of me altogether. Okay. But like like Woody said, I, I am a I am a very emotional person. I go highs and lows, and the reason I go highs and lows is because only thing I have in front of me is YouTube. When YouTube's high, I'm high. When YouTube's low, I'm low. And that's just the way it is. I mean, I ride on my emotions. Wings, look at this. Look, look here, Wings. You 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 called you called me out on my eye. I remember we had a drama back when you, you called me out on. I had a list because my my microphone. I would, I would appreciate this. My microphone wasn't as good. Why are you so <laughs> materialistic? I'm a f person, Wings. Like. I'm person too and you're sitting there trying to destroy my livelihood by some bulls trying to say I did some view do you not understand the gravity of the situation you fake this suit for views your raw instinct your fucking G unit wings this is what you are this is what you brought you brought this on yourself because you need more views wings it's not all about the views it's not if you Take that out your mind. If you just don't look at the view counter, maybe you'll be happier in life. Maybe you will, but you you're you're just so concerned about numbers on a website that it just in, in, it, it engulfs you and it makes you depressed. I what I liked you. I liked you, Wings. I liked your videos. I was watching you back in World at War. Even though you talk about a lot of things that I disagree on. I like you as a person, but I lost all respect for you when you took it to the, to the next level. What do I have, Keemstar? I have a night full of drama. I have a female press store trying to get big off me by threatening to put the FBI in me. I have one of the biggest channels in the gaming on YouTube trying to shut me down while I'm having one of the worst months of my life. What do I have? Wings, think about what you just said. You said that you have El Presidor trying to get big off of you. Now, do you really so believe? Do you really believe that? Do you really believe that? El Presidor is a f***ing leech. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, if if El Presidor is really just trying to get big off you, that is an awesome thing. That's a compliment. It's isn't not it? an awesome thing. It hits you all at once, dude. Have you ever? Well, you probably can. Well, you gotta look at it glass half full, glass half empty. You have so much, and people in this community, you know, look up to you. All right, they, they do. They do. People in the community actually look up to Wings. Wings has been around for, for forever, and as much as people battle with, with you, people do respect you. You know, and admire you. Look at how many people tune into PKA. No offense to Woody, but if you were out of it, it'd be probably like half the people there. You know what I mean? You gotta think about what you have. You put up life advice videos and people actually listen. They take your advice. You know, I mean, sometimes you just have to look at your life, look at what you have, and, and, and be grateful for it. And I think that's basically how Duranker started this whole argument with you. You know, that you do have this this dream job, you know, you do have this epic, you know, thing that people wish they had. And, and sometimes we gotta be thankful for that, you know? 
I think Keemstar made a good point. And I think he made it with a little compassion. Like, you know, I, I think there's thousands of people watching this, right? And there's tons of people on Twitter. It's hard to measure watching this. And no one's really looking at a man in pain who's having a bad night. You know, lots of other YouTubers are piling on in an effort to get attention to themselves. Lots of guys are, are doing their thing. And there aren't very many people who are looking at wings and saying, damn, you know, is there anything I can do to help? I know I need to make a change, but, like, I also know I'll never get this opportunity again. And through that, I keep pushing myself forward going through it. Like, the change I need to make is I need to quit YouTube. But, like, I don't... I mean, I don't... I don't me, personally, I don't think... I don't, like, I'm just saying, I don't think you should quit YouTube. I'll, I'll quit YouTube if you quit YouTube. Out of anyone, out of, and I mean this, I'm not just saying this, out of everybody in the community that there is, all right, Wings of Redemption is my, fam is my favorite. And the reason why, and the reason why he'll always be my favorite is because he always stirs up the pot, all right? Like him and, actually, him, and El Prestor, him and El Prestor are my favorites because they entertain me. They entertain me. I, I, I personally, I don't think you should quit YouTube. There, there's no reason to quit YouTube. But yeah, there's no reason to quit YouTube. That's the point. But at the same time, it makes me so, like, viscerally unhappy. And, like, that's the reason I took the vacation. Like, I just wasn't happy. Here's my opinion. And, and you know, I'm not the greatest PR person in the world. But I think because it could be considered as a serious threat, I think the best thing to do would be to apologize for this comment and apologize to El Prez, and then I think the issue's just dead. You know, because you 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 don't really you're not really gonna kill El Prezador. You're not gonna kill him. You you didn't really Keemstar. mean to kill him. So Keemstar. I think you should let everyone know that and say you're sorry. Game Star, do you remember when you had beef with me? Yes, I do. And I pretty much got all your information and read it out to you on a video. Yep. I was more. I was closer to uh, doing you than ever, El Presidor. So you were gonna kill me? <laughs> no, he was gonna do you. I mean, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> it's totally different. Because you you were trying to take my livelihood from me at a period where I had just gotten out of a hellhole, and like I would have had nothing left at that point. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, me and Wings had a battle. That was back in the FAG days. What? El Presidor? <laughs> I'm just saying, El Presidor, don't, don't you always go after wings? Because you were jumping in when I was upset at the height of upsetness. Upsetness. One episode, I, I threw this at wings because, you know, he was bemoaning his... his, his, his Station uh, in life. Sure. And I said, uh, look, man, come to my house. We'll do a fucking month long boot camp. We'll get the fans behind it. We'll we'll do a Kickstarter to get you like fitness gear supplies. Um, you know, we'll we'll film the entire thing. We'll we'll make posters. We'll make coffee mugs. We'll we'll get like a big viewership. Not only will this revive your body, it'll revive your YouTube channel. Uh, this will be amazing. Come to my house. I'll take a month out of my schedule. I will devote it to you. We'll do this thing together. It'll be fun. I, I sort of half-heartedly meant it. I didn't really expect him to ever <laughs> say yes because of all the things that we told you so far. You know, he doesn't get out of his bubble too much. And then the man said yes. So do one of the things we're gonna do, we're gonna lock the uh, the food up. So all the food is gonna be like literally under lock and key. There's there's gonna be no calories. Electrified. Unless Wings eats one of my dogs. <laughs> He's getting no calories that, that aren't, like, you know, pre-approved calories. Wings is going to lose 50 pounds in a month. Wings is going to lose 50 pounds, right? This could be good. Wings, I, I how's the weight loss been going already. so I far? I don't know. I quit looking at it. Yeah, make sure you bring the scale, by the way. I'm thinking that, like, every episode will have your current weight written on your shirt. <laughs> I, I'm on thinking there's shirt. Be, like, every morning there's a weigh-in. Where like we weigh you and then I spray paint your your weight onto your white T-shirt, 
And you got to wear that out. many white t-shirts. I will. That's what the fund is for. That's what we're paying for it. You, you know, know how much white t-shirts. I, I mean, I'm not being a cheap bastard here, but I need somebody to buy me a can of spray paint. I need. A, I'm, I'm gonna need. 10, I, I, dude, t-shirts. I don't think you understand how much t-shirts my size cost. A pack of three is like twenty-four dollars. Well, I happen to know some people in the t-shirt business. I think I can swing it. Well, the t-shirt business that you know, they, they don't carry my size. I know the people who own the company. They'll just order one. We'll get <laughs> so you some six, six XLs or five XLs. Or I whatever. want you to sell shirts that say happen. like 414, 409. You know, the number's on the way down. Yeah, that's exactly – yeah, and I, I imagine it like this. Like I, in black, I spray paint the number, and then if he, it, in the event that he loses weight, you know, we'll do a blue arrow down. But if you ever were to gain some weight, we'd have like a red arrow pointing up and – Big sm- frowny face He's and not stuff. not gaining weight. There's going to be a lot of shaming during this. During this, it's, it's going to be a deep dark oh, passage for wings. I want to hear about the confessionals. Somebody... Oh, the confessionals are going to be great. How They're often are great? we going to see videos out of this? It starts Monday, dude. It's coming around. This is so fucking awesome. Like, I don't know if people understand how incredible <laughs> this is going to be. Wings of Redemption at Fat Look Loss at Boot face. Camp begins Monday. If you're watching this, it's probably Saturday or Sunday. It is right around the corner. It is actually happening. Wings of Redemption at FPS Kyle's boot camp at his house. He'll be in his car driving there Monday. When's the first video confessional hit YouTube? Thursday at the latest. Thursday at the latest. Like, it it should be up Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Tuesday night! If I'm rushing and I'm editing fast and I've got all the music and everything and uh, editing goes well and we don't lose any footage or any audio or any, have to do any reshoots or anything like that, yeah. I mean, it's going to be like five-minute video. It's going to be awesome. I can't ten wait. To, I, I it may be see. ten minutes because we're going to do – the first episode is going to have a shopping for food and um, – I think shopping for food and, and and because of you know some of the aches and pains you have, I think this is going to be a good exercise. So we'll see what you got. All right. He is allowed to use his legs as long as he's moving weight. It's a good thing. Pull, pull. Yeah, there you go. All right, so that is a big tractor tire. I flip that thing when I'm really working out hard and trying to lose weight, get in shape, uh, you know, building lower body strength, stuff like that. And uh, I think you're going to take a whack at it. So let's see what you got. Yeah, I'm going to take a whack at it. Now keep in mind, I do have a bad back. No excuses. Play like a champion. Okay. Push into it instead of lifting. Urgh, there we go. Hell yeah. I won. Two, three, he's killing it. You are killing it. Still going. Get in the grass and we'll call that one good. One more, come on. There we go, hell yeah. You killed that thing. Hopefully. Anybody would have had a hard time with that. I'm serious. I just <laughs> I flipped that thing right before he did. That thing is a handful. It's a couple hundred pounds. It's full of water. That is tough. It's got me winded. For sure. All right. Let's uh let's skip to a little bit of cardio. You ready? Right. Yeah. Well, is there a mountain lion gonna chase me? It might. <laughs> All right. So here we go. This is gonna be a little bit different than before. We got a tire again. But this is really good for cardio. Now, a lot of I've heard of boxers talking about chopping trees. This is going to give you, I think, something really similar, but it's more low impact. And that's what I'm going for with a lot of this stuff is keeping it low impact. So we're going to give you a couple minutes on the tire. That's going to you're going to be rotating your hips, making full extension, and uh, burning a few calories. Hopefully, how about it? Almost slipped. <laughs> that's okay. Doesn't have to be pretty. And if you hit it in the opposite direction, it'll spin in the opposite direction. Just don't let go, wings. You'll kill me. Keep it going. Let the neighbors know. He's running from you. You may have to grab him and slow him down. Oh, 
I'm done. done. <laughs> Come on, let's do ten more. Ten more hands. Ten, ten more hits. I got ten in me. You got ten. I got. I'm gonna give you what I left. You got ten. Come on. One. You got it. Swing left if you need to. It's not. My, it's not that. It's my back. <laughs> let's get. Let's get four more. Then that'll make five. Two. Three. Four. Kill it. Yeah, there we go. All right. A little bit more winded. Ah, uh, my back's killing me. All right, so we're gonna have to do something. Take you off your feet now. But we can't stop because we've only been going for about ten minutes. We need to keep yeah. your heart up for at least half an hour. So uh, let's go into the basement and see what we can find down there to keep All you right. busy. All right, Jordy. So on that bar we have about 120 pounds. Uh, the weights on the outside are 25 pounds each, that combines to 50, and the weights on the inside are 35 pounds each, which combines to 70. The rack itself is almost weightless, I have found, so tack on two and a half to five pounds, but we're going to call this 120 pounds. These are some overhead presses here, and I think our goal, my goal right here with this, I don't know how you're feeling about it, but to me it's to build some upper body strength, because, I, because muscles are in themselves fat burning machines, so... As much as cardio is important in keeping your heart rate up for long periods of time, I think we need to build some muscle too. We need to make you a strong guy again. So let's let's do some sets. Let's see if we can knock out eight. Okay. Perfect. There you go. Each one of these is a step. Keep going slow like that. It, it's good that it burns. That means you're working. <laughs> now you got two more at least. You got two more at least. All right, you're gonna start. Three, two, one, up. <laughs> Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Give us one. Give us one more. All you got. Come on. All right. All right, well, that's good. That's what we want. All right. That's literally everything. I'm not even holding back, dude. All right, we're going to do another set. We're going to, we're going to drop the weight a little bit. That's good, though. We wanted to find a breaking point. What was that, four and a half? That was something like that. It, the, the numbers really don't matter. The numbers are how I keep you moving. I am instantly sore right, right, right in the middle of my Right in the middle of your back. back. That's the muscle we're going after. I mean, like it's like sore almost instantaneously. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't, and that's that's why we had you eating those bananas last night. We're gonna make sure you don't cramp up. So uh, hold up, hold up. You got it. There you go. There we go. Now we're sweating. We're doing work. All right, so. We just got our elliptical going, and uh, I think we're going to try to get you going for five minutes on here. I think that'd be good. You're saying you're having a hard time holding yourself up because the arms are getting tired. So let's see if you got five minutes in you. Oh, man. Five minutes. You are doing like a long time. Don't think about it. Just focus. I usually pretend like I'm actually running around a racetrack, and uh, I think back to running on track in my past, so that may not be an option for you. Um, I didn't make the track team. I don't know if you believe it. Yeah. Or not. Yeah. Um, maybe imagine that someone's behind you chasing you. Like the poke I'm poke. Like an asthma attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just imagine there's a bear back there. He's trying to keep it going. What are you I'm doing? Gonna, Pump the I'm shit. Just, you gotta stay at a reasonable pace. Come on, you gotta keep them going. It's not even your arms, bro. That's no, that's it's not. I mean, it's like walking through snow. Keep going. You got this. Put your hands on the center things, and then you don't have to hold yourself up. I'm done. You done? I'm done. Give us thirty more seconds. Come on, give us thirty more. Hold down. I'll send Jeremy to hold you up. Jeremy, don't think he hold me up. Jeremy, go hold him up. <laughs> Uh, 
Great, two more bars. So here's your second. Right. I see him. I see him. They call that and tell me you're fat. You are fat. You've got to work. You got to work this off. It's not going to leave. You've got to work hard. This is day one. Ten more seconds. Yeah. You're getting close. Come on, you've got it. We've had a malfunction. Get him back on track, Jeremy. Kick it. Hey, go ahead. Back on track and back to work. Ten more. Pump. Come on, it's ten more fucking steps, man. This isn't hard. You got this. All right, that's good enough. All right, how do you feel now? Like a deer falling out of pussy. Like what? A deer falling out of pussy. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. You ever see a baby deer get born and legs all wobbly in there? How wobbly are you? I couldn't do the steps back up to the house right now. Okay. Well, I think that's pretty good for, uh, for right now. We're not done yet, though. It's the end of day one. And uh, I, uh, it's the end of day one, and I, uh, I don't know, I'm really sore. But this bathtub kicks lots and lots of ass. It does. I don't know, it's huge. Like, I was kind of disappointed in myself how I, uh, I wasn't as strong as I, as I remember myself being. But I guess that's the way most things happen. Is you, you always feel like you're, you're better at a certain point. Like um, I find myself remembering, um, thinking back to uh, when I used to be like 330 pounds. And I got, back then I thought I was really, really heavy. And um, like now I'd kill to be 330. Like, good oh Lord, that's 110 pounds, you know. And that's exactly what it is at this point. It's 110 pounds, and there's really nothing you can, uh, really nothing that you can do about it. But, I mean, if you sit there and linger on it, like, man, I used to be 330. But at the same hindsight, I used to be like 8 pounds, too. I think 8 pounds is the lightest I've ever been. 8 pounds and 2 ounces. But, you know, you can't look back. You always got to look forward. And, like, the past, you know, you just got to learn from it. And, like, I know now, if I got down to 330 now, I'd feel I'd feel like a million bucks, dude. I'd, I'd be, you know, just jump for joy, exuberated. And um, it's uh, really cool. Like, I, I, I feel really good that Kyle's helping me out here. I mean, he's being a really good friend doing this. And, like... It did, this amount of time invested in something like this is, is crazy. And, uh, you know, I'd like to be able to th find some way to pay him back, but who knows? Yeah, you know, changing a life. I mean, I'm hoping that's, what's, uh, well, I'm hoping that's what we're doing here, changing a life. Um, <clears throat> but I'm stinky right now. It's the end of day one. I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow. I might wake up and do a vlog tomorrow talking about how I'm feeling before I, uh, I go out and do some stuff. And uh, hopefully everything gets back on track. 34. 434. So you've lost another 2.8 pounds, right? Yes. How do you feel about that? Are you encouraged by that kind of success? That's pretty good if you ask me. I, that's in one day. That's like three pounds. Yeah, it's 3.8 pounds in one day, I believe. I mean, that means I'm burning something like 7,000 calories a day. Yeah. And like, that's... Uh, you're burning a lot of calories. I don't know how many calories you're burning. Um, I don't know how many calories your body burns on its own. That's one of the things that we've been having. You know, we've been trying to figure out things like your breaking points, things like your endurance uh, maxes, and things like your caloric intake. And I think we're getting a handle on it, and you're losing weight. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of weight. Like, um... It's 10 pounds so far. Uh, or, excuse me. It's 10 pounds so far, right? Not yet. No? That's two, that's three more, so it's nine pounds. Okay, nine pounds total in two days of, two full days of, of doing stuff. So that's good. Well, I think what, what I'm trying to do at this point, my main goal is to try to instill um, some sort of a work ethic or a pride about his work into Jordy because he, he doesn't seem to have that. And 
And uh, he's, a, he's a unique guy. He doesn't look at things like uh, the rest of us do. So it can be difficult sometimes having conversations like that because he just doesn't get it. You know, it's, it's like you're speaking French. And, um, and that's been the most frustrating thing to me when I try to say, you know, look, let's, let's do this, you know, as good as we can. Let's put 100% of our effort into this. And he's like, ah, oh, you know, who cares? You know, it's, it's just like, it's, it's not about who cares. It's not about if someone's going to come and judge your work uh, and say that it's wanting. It's about having a work ethic. It's about saying, even if it's folding laundry, that's what I told him. I was like, fold the laundry tomorrow and fold that laundry so well and, and, and try so hard at it that, you know, you would be proud to, to have the president like walking in and using your laundry or, you know, the, the, king, of, the king of Spain or something. Hey guys, it's um, end of episode 5 here. And um, I guess I should, should go ahead and address the whole uh, thing I posted on Facebook. Um, I know a lot of people are waiting for that kind of video. And uh, the way what happened on Facebook is um, more along the lines of just being homesick for the most part. Um, and it has a lot to do with the weight plateau as well. Um, I feel like at that at that point in time, my my train of thought was that um, I've been on a weight plateau for five days. None of us here really know much about dieting, dieting or things like that. And I felt like um, like going ahead and getting into with like a personal trainer, somebody who's trained to do these things, would have been my best you know solution to get past the weight plateau. And it, that would also have been there, but a lot of people took it the wrong way. Some people wanted to accuse me of, you know, stealing Indiegogo money, which that we have no intention of stealing money. I mean, the Indiegogo um, is a lot more money than we anticipated getting, and um, we're have, we're having tough times doing different things with the Indiegogo money, such as spending it. Like um, we originally thought our our total cost was going to be about twenty five hundred bucks. And that's what we set the Indiegogo at, is 2500 bucks. And we expected it to take all month to get there. And with your generous uh, donations, you guys put it there within like three days of the Indiegogo going up. So now we have 9000 some dollars to, you know, to, to go with this Indiegogo money. And it's like, wow. And most of that's going to go to personal trainers and, you know, workout equipment for myself. And, all stu and stuff like new shoes and things like that. I don't know if you can tell. Let's see if it's, I don't know if you can tell. Let's just look at it. But um, I walk on the outside of my foot so this is a, a lot worse than this and uh, it really deformed the shoe and my shoe is like really deformed in that ballpark. And uh, my phone's going out. But um, weight loss in general. Um, I seen a video I seen, I seen a video where um, a, a guy named his name was Squall. I, for, I forgot the entire entire channel name. I'm sorry about that. But he was he was like 500 some pounds, and he uh, he ended up losing it all. He went down to like 265 or something like that in a two year span of time. So he's a much larger gentleman than me, and he doesn't really go over the video how he lost the first 50 or 60 pounds. He said he was like 5'10". He didn't start going to the gym to 460. And he says some stuff in the video itself that kind of kind of didn't bother me because he said that food eating shouldn't give you any kind of comfort. And to me, that's like, oh, that sucks. Why are people calling me? It, to me, it sucks. Um, because, like, food has always been a huge part of my life. And being a huge part of my life, it... Um, it's hard to let go of it being a comfort food. Like um, when I eat food, my body knows that when I eat it, I'm going to feel good. I'd go so far as saying food is more of a comfort to me than like having somebody there. But in, in the video itself, he, he said there has this workout video where he starts getting excited about working on the elliptical. Um, I'm doing 20 minutes on the elliptical now, and you've probably seen that in the video itself. I did like a little time-lapse capture because I have this new toy, um, actually for my camera. It's called a, uh, it's called an Aperture Time Remote Control. 
And what it does is allow it, it, you can set it to take pictures over and over and over again, and you get time lapse shots. Like you ever see the shot of like the atmosphere and it goes and like the sun goes up and down? That's what it does it, a time lapse picture. And I think that's really cool. And I, I wanted to try it out. I want, it's a new toy. But in itself, he is 460 pounds. He can do about what I could do on the elliptical when he first started. I was 442 when he started. He was 462, something like that. So there's about 20 pounds difference. And I did exactly about 45 seconds on day one of this boot camp. And through the time at Lapshire, I did 15 minutes in the time thing, but also did five minutes on a stair stepper that was kind of pitiful. Um, the machine that we got um, that uh, that the um, Real Barcelonian, I remember his gamer tag. I don't remember his name. His name was the Real Barcelonian. Um, and that and his Fusion Soccer 70 was his Reddit tag. I don't remember the guy's name. But... Um, he gave me basically what is a stair stepper, and that thing is hard, dude. Oh my good lord, my butt is so out of shape. Like it looks like an elliptical, but it's it works more like a stair stepper, and it has huge resistance. It feels like you're walking upstairs the entire time. I did five minutes on that to do it today, and like oh my god, that killed my back and my legs. And that thing is hard. But I, I'm not. I have no intention of quitting losing weight. Um, I'm hoping somewhere down the line, what I can take from the boot camp in itself is that to be able to feed myself properly and be able to use the energy. What I feel, what I feel like I need to do is I feel like I need to find an extracurricular activity outside of the house that can replace eating. So basically, I need to turn eating into something I can do to do the activities I I desire to do, versus eating being the activity I desire to do. And I'm having a hard time with that. Thank you guys for your continued support. And I uh, hope you guys uh, continue watching the videos. It's been your boy Wings of Redemption. So we are three quarters of the way through this boot camp. We're day 20 something, 21, somewhere in there. And uh, I thought it'd be good to do some of the exercises we did from the beginning and show some of your progression. So this is our friend, the tire. Mr. Goodyear Power Torque. Mr. Goodyear Power Torque. That thing gave you some trouble on day one, right? Um, this is actually the easiest exercise I did on day one. Really? This is the one I found the easiest. Like, now I do remember that you you I, I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to do them. Period. And you did what seven? I did seven of them. And you were pretty out of breath after seven. Yeah, and it pretty much drained everything else. Like this and the weights were what I felt I did the best on day one. What I felt I did the worst on day one was the elliptical. So. Let's see where we at cardio wise, because this is more of a test of cardio. Because we did a montage of these, and I did a lot that day. Yeah. And but I did a lot that day with breaks in between. I'm gonna try to see how many I can do before I just can't breathe. All right. Let's see what you got. Switch direction? It's going uphill now. <laughs> uh -huh. A little bit harder. How many was that? I didn't count. That was a good number of them. Um, so you definitely did more than seven. That was... Gonzo Man, did you keep count? Go ahead. Dear Woody, Kyle, Jordy, and Lefty, 
first, let me introduce myself. My name is, and then he asks us not to tell us every his, his name. I'm an 18 year old entrepreneur from the Netherlands and I'm still attending high school at the moment. I'm writing to you guys because all four of you have helped me tremendously over the past couple of years. Just at the age of 17, I made half a million dollars. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this because I want to show off. I mention this because all of you have helped me become successful. All of you helped me in one way or another becoming the person I am today. And I honestly see many of you guys as my idols. Woody, the parent figure. You always give out great advice. You share the same passion for working as hard as I do. You guided me through tough times, and you always make me laugh when I hear that laugh of yours. Keep up the great work with your Minecraft server. Thanks, Woody. Now, Kyle, what, what can I say? You are one funny mother... But seriously, though, you should make more videos that include stand-up comedy or stories. You really are talented. I could listen to your stories for hours on end. And I don't... And don't... Uh, don't let's see... And don't let me forget your prank calls. You, sir, made me piss my pants multiple times because I, uh, because I was laughing too hard. You're always a great friend for helping Jordy uh, lose weight. I wish you the best of luck. Wings, the sweet one. Okay, sometimes you say some dumb shit, but that's why we love you. You want to take my time and wish you the best of luck on the boot camp. I know, heck, everybody who watches PKA knows you can do it. And when you're done with it, you'll feel like you've never felt before. Keep working hard, and you'll be rewarded. So yeah, it's been a it's an interesting it's an interesting experience living with Wings Redemption. There's a lot of things that just, that you don't see coming. <laughs> so look, last <laughs> night or the night before, this is the elephant in the room. Wings put on Facebook that he was going to quit the boot camp. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I didn't say quit the boot camp. The word quit wasn't in the in those texts at all. Uh, I don't know. You the implied... word quit was all over the text in my mind. Yeah, you seriously implied you were going to quit. Wings had a really rough day, and it was like, I know he says it was day five, but it was day four of him not losing any weight. Um, and, and it's tough, but, Wings, you weren't eating properly. And, you know, everyone has good well, days and bad days. Like we're placing the blame on me. No, the blame is, no, 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 the blame's on you. Yeah, the so, blame yeah. is directly no, the blame, on the you and on you. The blame is not on me. When I, when you condition me for two weeks to eat like 500 calories. Not what and then I go into a situation where I forget to eat. Wait, wait, wait. There's the key. There's the key to it. So here's what happened. I told Wings many times from the very beginning, you need to eat a minimum of five meals a day. And mm -hmm. if you were eating seven meals a day, that would be awesome. I know that's a lot to ask, but seven would be top of the top notch five for sure though he would we got and, and here's the thing we don't I, i'm not up I, if i'm not there to like feed wings like he's a child then it doesn't get done and it's and he you're a, he's a grown man and he just has to take responsibility for himself that for breakfast he has five or one cereal two and a half to three hours later he has a banana or a yogurt two and a, two and a half to three hours later he has a side salad two and a half to three hours later he has grilled chicken breast and rice or a piece of wheat bread Two or three hours later, it's another yogurt or banana. It's it, That's how Wings Day is supposed to go, and that's exactly how I told him from the beginning, and I've supplied him with everything it takes to do that, and I've taught him how to make four different dishes um, with grilled chicken and a mixture of vegetables. So there's there's no excuses, and all the blame's on him because he's a grown man, and he has all the tools. I'm going to tell you this. I'm never going to do that, so we need to work around another way. There isn't another way. We cannot baby you. Because when you leave I'm, here, tell, I'm telling you this, that will never happen in Wings' life. Well, then Wings' life is going to decline again, and Wings is the only person to blame for that. Because Wings has thousands of people rooting for him, thousands of people supporting him, and hundreds of people that have donated. And Here's if you're thing, dumb enough really... to not take that support and listen to it... Wings, you tell me you're, you're hungry a lot. You tell me you love food. Then what the... F is the problem with you eating. We have a fridge full of beautiful food. And you know what? If you can't be bothered to cook, I'm here. You can be like, Kitty, I'm hungry. Yeah, and I'll be like, I, you I know what? I've forgotten to eat today. I can't, I can't rely on Kitty to cook for me. What I'm saying is, let's structure it a different way. Instead of having Jordy eat seven, five to seven meals a day, which I'm never going to do that, I sleep for 12 hours sometimes. All right, so that's out the outside the window. Why don't we structure it so I can find stuff that I can put in the microwave, or I can, you know, make coal. We even did that. We do it like like we're doing. We did that. We got you the healthy choice, the steam fresh meals. And that's what I've been eating. 
these last couple of days. And how many meals? There, have you had those microwave meals have been in there, a part of the program from day one. I've had I mean, two. I've had two meals. All right, and what time is it now? It's it's twenty five past nine, and you've had two meals today. Will you come into my office so I can slap you, please? I want everyone to hear <laughs> it's it. Silly. <laughs> and I mean, we had this talk yesterday about how important these meals was. I literally told you last night, like the key to doing it would be to set a timer on your phone and to write down on a piece of paper it's, every it's meal not, for the it's next not day. It's not that I forget to do it. You're acting like I forget to do it. It's like, oh, I, I no, I know it. you didn't forget. You just willfully didn't do it. I mean, that's like, why it's that's why it's an upsetting thing. If 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 I actually thought you had some kind of short-term memory loss, I would forgive that. But like, we sat there last night, and I I, I talked to you about work ethic, and I talked to you about. The, the key, I gave you the tools and the keys to success for today, which were writing down what you were going to eat today, every single meal, so you knew going into tomorrow what it was going to be, and you could make it happen because it had been visualized. And I and the other key was setting a timer on your phone so that you could not forget your list. And neither one of those things happened. They're not going to happen. I, I don't want to live my life that way. Well, then you're a f moron. So... You almost quit the other day, right? You... I didn't quit. You're using the word quit. I was ready to leave Kyle's house. Uh huh. I mean, I feel like, like, like me, Kyle, and Kitty, we don't know enough about nutrition to get me through this weight loss thing, the uh, this this plateau, because it's been about five or six days now. You've I lost felt, weight the last two days. If you say so, but I, I felt like it would have been better, more beneficial for me. To go ahead and start with a physical trainer, somebody that lives his life with nutrition, and be back in an area where I'm more comfortable than it was to be, you know, feel like a like I was just a sore thumb or something sticking around here, and I feel like I'm leeching all people when I'm in here. But you, you told me they're, they're, they're you were you sore you and you were starving and you were homesick, and I said, just wake up, well, and do the right thing every day. You know, if you don't, the world will beat you down. If you do, the like, world will sing your praises. Hold on, there's more. And you're like, I'm not built that way. I said, rebuild. Weak moments like this happen to everyone. You're about to decide if you're a winner or a loser. Do you remember what you said? I said, I'm born a loser. I've you never said, been successful in anything in my life. I'm a loser. It's all I've ever been. I said, stick it out so you can be proud of yourself. And you said, I would be proud if I stuck it out, but I would be just as happy to leave. That's why I decided what I did. Here, but the, the way of thinking is entirely different. You're looking at it as, as quitting. I can't quit now because I don't have I don't have an appetite right now. But like at the same time, if I stayed these extra ten or twelve days, what's to stop me from from doing what people are fearing is going to happen now? People act like if I leave here with a high, that it's going to generate something different. It will the, if the you end, go. The end result next. is myself has to go through this, it, whether it's eight days from now or forty-five days from now. It all boils down to I'm the one that has to make these choices and. No matter, and I'm not. There's nothing you can do to give me the tools needed to in the time allotted, other than getting me off of sugar, which you've done successfully, and making me strong enough to be able to work out on my own. Those are the two goals that you don't know what achieved. success feels like. That's what we're trying to do. You're so lazy that you won't even like attempt something that's so simple. Because I was trying to teach you a lesson. This is what that's what last night was about. It was about you making the list, setting the timer, and then doing it today and seeing what that felt like for one. To plan something, to plan to achieve something, to achieve it, and to be proud of it. That's what I was trying to teach you. But I, but once again, you were, I mean, God, I can't imagine that kind of like, uh, you, you played Dragon Age or something last night instead of taking five minutes to write down a list. Like, I just wrote the list just a moment ago when I like spouted all that off. Like, that's the list. I didn't the list write the simple. list. I didn't write the list because I didn't want to do it. I didn't write the list because I wasn't going to do it. There's two different, there's two different meanings there. But you see that, I talk about that a lot on my channel. Like, you know, of course you'll never win anything. Of course you'll never accomplish anything if you're the if you knock yourself down before somebody else does, right? Like you, you don't even let yourself start on the road to success. You say I'm not going to do that because I won't do that. I'm the sort of guy who fails at things, so I won't start. My motto is anything you, know right you can now, do, I can do better. I'm going like, to let you know this. <laughs> I am never going to eat 7 meals a day, so but that out of the question, if you want to see, succeed, then that, this is something you do that. too. You just went to the complete, end of, um, crazy end of the spectrum of what I had said, and, and, and made it sound like I was offering, asking something unreasonable. You don't have to eat seven. You have to eat three, though, or you're just not giving them. You're just spitting in our face. I, if you I, don't I, eat three I, meals a day like a normal human being, when you I've eat four, I can see you're trying. If you eat five, then you're on the program. 
that's how it works. That's that's how this graduated scale goes. And right now you're like, I don't give a. You said you were homesick and wanted to go home. I do want to go home. I want to go home right now. He's you're, probably just sick of me nagging him. You're to be a honest. grown man. You, like, you're not allowed to be homesick anymore. No, why? Well, where, where's that rule written down? Fair, yeah, that's, I, I, don't dude, think, I, really? I don't think that's He doesn't entirely. have a wife and kids at home. He has his nice. mom. Yeah, and he but loves he's his not mom. Being away he loves from his family. Home. I mean, I don't. I, I just. I don't think it's entirely. Mom, I, miss, I miss. I miss the country. I miss flat ground. I miss <laughs> some familiar streets. I miss the smell of the swamp. I miss a whole bunch of different things. I miss. I miss Ginger. I miss Chevy. I miss. You know, I miss the way the damn dew hits the damn truck in the mornings. I miss just normally. I miss my room. I miss my office. No, I, I can understand in my own that. Bed. He's not been away from home very much, so I can understand how that's a thing. I, I mean, I, that's I, never no, been a thing for me personally. No, it, look, I, I, I left my house it. at 19 and didn't come home for six months. I feel it too. I like being home. I like being in familiar roads. I like being around my wife and kids and dogs. And I have, I have a nice life. Sometimes when I go on vacation, it's not as good as real life. But you have an opportunity to upgrade, to reinvent, to rebuild. And I'm hearing like, ah, you know what? I really like the dew and the flatness of my yard. So I'm not going to stay here anymore. And it's like, no. Well, but see, you're looking at it two different ways. You're looking at it like you do something to completion. I'm looking at it like if I do it to completion, I'm not going to be any better for wear. And I'm just wasting people's time. Trust me, it, I'm it blunt enough like, to tell you if you're wasting our time. It's a quit, dude. It, there's no other way to, to phrase it. it. It's a quit. It's a, I give up. It's going through the motions. Yeah. No, I giving up would be like me. It's going through the motions. It's a half assing. Well, I half ass stuff. That's the way I do it. You never I watch know. YouTube that's, videos? That's exactly what I said last night. I, I went on a rant with you about how you, how you half ass everything because, like, you handed me your portion after I sat there and edited everything to, to the best of my ability. I felt I'm not. I'm no editor, but I tried my best, and. And you handed me your end, and both things you handed me were completely half-assed. One of them, you had a, a fan blowing right into it, like an air purifier, yeah. and it was it was whirly and like like un unlistenable. Then, I, then you, I redid it, and then somebody called me in the middle of it, and I took the time to edit that out of and it. And he told me, I asked him, why didn't you put the the phone on silent? And he said, I don't do stuff like that. And 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 there it is. And, but you didn't edit it out. It's right in the middle of the video. In, I, in the last oh, yeah, minute, it out. In the last minute there's been, hey, half-ass. That's how I do things. I half-ass it. And you know, hey, I don't do this. Why? Then when then the only portion of the video that you filmed that was the time lapse, it's it's completely out of focus, and it's the lower half of your body time lapsed for 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 20 I'm, minutes. I'm sorry. I have a I have a new new gadget. I was trying for the first time. Nobody was there to help me. And like I thought, I had it in focus. But nobody's the there to help me do anything. I, every little adjustment I make is an, if, if 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 anything's out of focus, it's all on me. It's and, and I take full responsibility. I would never say, "Well, Kitty wasn't there to show me how to focus the camera." Like it's you, you know. It's it's just a my bad situation. It's cool. I'm not mad at you, but it's just an example of where you should. Be, instead like, of giving me an example, because part I'm sorry, Kyle, to cut you off, but like it, partly I feel like we're ganging up on you, and I feel guilty for that. Partly I feel like we're calling you out on your bullshit. And you badly need that. Uh, yeah, nobody's trying to hurt you here or attacking. We're not mad at you. We're disappointed and we want more of you. I'm, I'm, the I, you I don't happy. want to do YouTube. I don't. I'm, I'm losing this weight right now to get out of YouTube. That's okay. I don't want to change my work ethic on YouTube. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, so there's two different things. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with you working and your goal being getting off YouTube. Because we, what we talked about last week it sounds like a good scenario for you, you being some sort of firefighting, softball-playing, weekend guy who maybe ends up with a family and enjoys the rest of his life and, and starts learning what life's about. But, but, but that, and everybody would be cool with that. But you don't half-ass your journey because you're never going to be – are you going to half-ass being a firefighter and half-ass that stuff? No, because that's stuff you care about. So – you shouldn't half-ass this because people have vested time, money, effort, and everything I'm not else. Half-assing it. it. You are half-assing. You just admitted it. You literally just admitted it. You said the words. I'm a half-asser. That's what I do. I, I, it's okay. We're not. We're not. We're not trying to like beat something out of you. It's okay See, that you're. I want to go home. We just want more of you. Why do you want to go home? Because there's nobody there to sit and at me. There's nobody to call you out on on on, on where you're lacking. We're not we're not doing this stuff to be to be bullies. I, I want you to understand fixed, that. Kyle. I we're, am who I am. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm who I am. 
if you have that attitude. We're not saying you have to change. I don't want to fix it. I mean, I, I like who I am. So you like being overweight? No, I didn't say I like being overweight. And trapped working on you, Tay? Well, I gotta disagree with that. This being how you are, because I remember watching the first video of boot camp, and you 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 were quick to tap out, quick. And now I've, I've been no, watching no, no, these no, no, videos. No, no, no. no, hold on, hold on, hold I on. I gave my hundred percent the entire I, time no. in every workout I've done. And no, hold on, let me finish. And now, Kyle thinks you're done, and you say no, I got more. And when you started this, I I'm think stronger. I that's. I know, but you're willing to you're willing to do more, to put up with more, to push yourself. I I just I get the feeling watching you that first video. I didn't get the feeling you weren't exuding confidence. You weren't like, yeah, I can do this. Now you are. There has been a change in you. And when you wanted to start this, you wanted to start it to change your life and to change your business, to change your YouTube business for the better. I think this, I don't want to do YouTube, I want to leave YouTube, all this stuff, I think it's like a default position for you. When you get, when you feel overloaded, you default to, I don't want to do this anymore, I'm, I'm, home, I'm scared, I don't want to do this, whatever it is, whether it be the boot camp, whether it be um, uh, the, eating the meals or, or, or doing YouTube, you default to, uh, I am who I am. I don't want to do this anymore. And I, I, I think you need to over, I, I think it would be in your best interest to look at that honestly and ra look at yourself honestly and rationally and be like, you know what? Yeah, I, it's kind of a default just to, just to, to remove myself from the situation, to put up a barrier between what I feel is, threatening or bad or looming and myself because i think i think that's what you i'm not a psychologist i play one on youtube but mm. i think that's what you do and i think it would be in your best interest to, just to i don't know inner monologue call it whatever you want but take an honest look at what you're saying and why you're saying it you don't have to tell anybody you don't have to be publicly like yeah it's a, it's you know it's actually because of this i say this but be honest with yourself and and take a look at what you're really saying and why you're saying it because i don't think a lot of the things you're saying are actually how you feel because they don't mesh up with how you went into this whole thing. You were excited. You were on Kyle. You were Kyle. Like, let's do this damn thing. I want to get on here and I want to start this thing. I want to get it started as soon as possible. And now that's that's completely changed. So what's going I, on in your head, Wings? What are you thinking right now? I'm thinking I'm ready for 12 days to be over with. But Wings, I think if you asked any person if they'd lost you know, let's say 22 pounds in under three I, weeks. I have lost they would 22 be pounds more times than I can count. This is not new to me. So, I've lost 80 pounds in 2011. 80. And I, I backslid off of it. I'm not at the point where I've even made a success yet in my life. And, like, I want to gain the tools needed to, to get that success. I want to get the tools needed to turn that 22 into 122. And I feel like if I don't do it your way, I'm doing it wrong. And I and you're 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 blocking me out, so I'm gonna block it out right back. I'm gonna keep working out, doing what I gotta do, and I'm gonna go home and then work on the plan I set for myself. You're eating something, Wings. I eat mainly fast food. You can't. That's that's probably gonna have to stop. It is gonna have to stop. And that's what. And that's basically what I need help for. He got me off the sugar. I, I no longer have hunger pains. I can sit here and I eat for two days now, and, and I wouldn't get hungry because my body has gotten used to eating like 500 calories a day. I can forget to eat right now. I will repeat that neither me or Kyle have recommended yeah, that he no. cuts his calories no. to 500 no, a day. Like, like what we he's do describing, not know where that came from. And, and like, and like, what he's I, describing he's, is the weight plateau that he's, that he, that he's talking about. He's like, like, they're, 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 they're talking bad about me, but I ate before PKA. Why? Because I'm like, well, if I don't eat before PKA, I'll pretty much won't, I'd only have 400 calories today. Well, congratulations. Right. That is the most minimal effort I, I can feel that you could have possibly exerted. Those Bobby. people getting death threats. <laughs> yeah. So Wings couldn't make it tonight. Um, I take that back. Wings didn't make it tonight. So oh. so Wings felt what he what he said to me was that he felt that coming on could only um, be a negative thing for him and his channel because he's really bummed out right now because he feels like um, I guess maybe since last week's show I think it's systemic from that but he feels like the videos aren't doing as well um, especially his gaming videos as far as the like ratios and stuff and that's got him really depressed and. You know, he's so he, he didn't want to come on the show because he felt, I, I guess he felt like he would say something that 
would be, you know, people wouldn't like again, and it would just put him farther in the hole. And Whether we that's a good decision to him that he not do that, but that did. wasn't a, that wasn't an option that he was interested in. <laughs> no, no, we uh, we all we all, um, and when I say all, I mean everyone at my household. I mean the you know Woody and I, um, we 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 all, you know, we, we said to him, you should come on the show, man. Just temper your feelings, focus on the show, and do it. And and, and he wasn't up for it, so. Uh, we've got Shiz here tonight, who I think is an excellent replacement. Who's totally replacing Wings on the cast. Welcome aboard, Shiz. <laughs> you know, it's good to be here. Most middle-aged women have this cat problem. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I, I don't cats. find that. I, like, I, I, I got to lie to them in their face every time. Do you like cats? Yeah. I can hate cats. I, I, if, I, if it was me, I'd throw cats out the window while I was driving. Oh, just for oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, oh, we just took a turn. Oh, dark. Oh, Went God. to a dark place there. Wait, well, did, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm having... Wings said that, that if he had his way, he would throw a cat out a moving car window. Mm. For leisure and entertainment. For <laughs> leisure and entertainment. <laughs> nice. Which sounds like a YouTube video category, but no, it's how Wings describes throwing cats out of a moving vehicle. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm saying some of this for shock value, but at the same time, dude, I hate cats. Especially when you have any anything of something new, like a car... Or like a new patio set, or you know, new 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 lawn chairs. Cats, you know, pop, pop, flowers. They take cats and flowers. Like we had neighbors. We have a crazy cat lady that lives behind us. She has like 20 plus cats. I don't know how many there is, but she had 20 plus cats. I kept catching them in raccoon cages and hauling them off to other neighborhoods. <laughs> Wings kidnapped his neighbor's cat and relocated them. I don't think she names them. They're just Wings straight. Wings is the reason for movies like Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. <laughs> He's that <laughs> who like thinks the dog is a stray and takes it to the pound. But it's even worse because he knows it's not a stray. He's kidnapping cats. He's yeah, a the cat cats in my yard taking shits in my f***ing mulch and my f***ing flower beds. Wings, you're a cat napper. I'm not a cat napper. Cats did you or did you not? They're on my property. I'm not killing them. I'm taking them off. So imagine, by that rationale, to other neighbors. So huh? by that rationale, if your neighbor's kid was in your yard, f with your flowers, kids and have you... a higher priority list. Like they, they go higher. Like all right, I'd get caught. Of course they do. Get but away. but it's the same thing you're doing to both. So that that's what makes you a catnapper. Okay, I, well, I guess I'm a catnapper. You're I like a Disney villain right now. Yes, they're, they're strays, Kyle. They're strays that come to her house because she feeds them. Do they have names? I do not know if they have names. I, I, I call them orange cat, black cat, <laughs> dumb cat. Have cat. you ever killed a cat? No, I've never killed a cat. You've well, never killed a cat? There's that one time I talked about in PK where I was, I was playing with a cat and I put uh, it under the bucket and went to, get, went to go to eat dinner. Yeah. I forgot about it. That poor cat. <laughs> I'm I've sure it was a quick... I've never killed I'm a sure cat. it was a quick death under that bucket in the hot sun. Don't worry, folks. <laughs> I've, I've thought about shooting a cat with like my 22, but I couldn't bring myself to do it. I'm... I'm you yeah, just kidnap them in raccoon cages and take them to other neighborhoods. I, I drop them off in like trailer parks and stuff where they're not going to be on the side of the road. <laughs> oh, that's okay then. So I did this thing where I invited this gentleman to my home, uh, and for a month I put him through a weight loss boot camp. In that month, he lost roughly 40 pounds, lost about 10% of his body weight. I put him on a diet, cooked his food, drove him to and from the grocery store, gave him a room in my house. My sh my shower was designed for human beings, and so I had to redesign it to accommodate <laughs> this gentleman. It cost $5,000. I wasn't planning to do it before he came, but I was like, look, I said I was going to get this guy over here. I already told the fans he's coming. Make it happen. New shower, big enough for everybody. Get him in here. A month he spent at my house. Me filming all of the videos by hand. Me holding the camera. 24 quarter, days, me. I think. He left early. 20 yeah, 28, something like that, okay, whatever, okay. you know, who knows, there were some resting days. Me holding the camera, me doing the, making up the workouts, me like supplying all the workout equipment virtually, me setting up uh, a Kickstarter program that raised up $11,000 of weight loss money, $9,000, thank you, Woody, Woody keeps tabs on this for me, he's, he knows what's <laughs> up. No, no, I'm, I'm serious, thank you. And, um... And uh, me editing all of the videos and then giving those videos over to him on a memory card so he could upload them onto his dying YouTube channel. 
and uh, which gave him a huge spurt of views. It rejuvenated his dying YouTube channel. These videos were getting hundreds of thousands of views on a channel that had been getting 25, 35,000, 50,000 on a great day. And then this is what he has to say. This is his version of events. Are we all queued up at zero? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 I'm ready. Three, two, <clears throat> one, play. Kyle didn't do shit. <laughs> Kyle did not teach me anything about working out. All Kyle did was hold a camera and, and, and do some video editing. He basically put together obstacle courses and just got me to work out. Most of my working <laughs> out is by myself on the elliptical, walking in the mornings. <clears throat> Kitty did all the eating stuff. Kitty made sure I was eating right and what I ate. Most, for the most part, all Kyle, what Kyle gave me on FBS Boot Camp was a support structure. That's what Kyle gave me. Drew, <laughs> Drew gave me a lot more with the eating and stuff. But the fact is, I knew how to eat good. You could tell. And I know when I'm making mistakes. <laughs> he knows how to eat it's good. Hard. It's fucking hard when everything you love about life is food. And just like, oh, just, man. Just like this, this stream I did this morning that turned to shit, that's because I wasn't eating. My blood sugar controls me 110%. 110%. You can't argue with Man. science. See, some one part in there, Kyle, that you have to say is true, is you were mostly just making up obstacle courses. <laughs> like, like there, there, there was not an exercise where Kyle's like, all right, this is going to hit your lats. All right, the reason you're going to do this, and this is the reason. Kyle would be like, all right, buddy of mine is wearing a gopher mascot costume. He's going to lay on the ground. You're going to pull this rope and tug him across yeah, the, the base of the floor. We have a what does pool? this work out, Kyle? We have a... Just general all-around muscles. A, <laughs> <laughs> a kiddie pool, a toe strap, and a pickup truck. Sit in the pool. We're dragging you around. That's Look. kind of a workout. Look, so, so who's it was way more American Gladiator than Olympic style. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now, I don't think that's fair. Now, I'll admit, there were a couple of workouts that were just in there for entertainment purposes. Yes, oh, of course. Okay. <laughs> All right? Yes, of course there were. And yes, I did have my friend Jeremy dress up in a myriad of costumes and work <laughs> as his personal trainer throughout them. Yes, at one point he was Gumby. Yes, at another point he was Gonzo. He and was of freeze. course he was a scary clown when Wings needed some motivation. He's terrified of them. All right? But the point was... We got him lip. He's lifting weights. He's doing medicine ball stuff. He's doing sit ups. I invented a new uh, exercise called the Jeremy pull, which is when you tie a rope to a, a man named Jeremy and Wings drags him with a rope. It works all the major muscle groups. <laughs> so was it, was it, was it, was it, because I don't know anything about this situation. Was it genuine? Did you bring him in like genuinely? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so there, what, it, it why wasn't did it, a jokey thing? It why was did like, he leave? Why did he stop doing it? Um, he, well, he, he was only supposed to stay for a month, but basically, like, like he couldn't handle it. And <laughs> I think that some of the he, – he was, like, getting emotionally down on himself. And, like, some weeks he wouldn't lose as much weight. And he broke down and cried a little bit. And, uh, you know, he – That's he, tough, he, man. Because just watching that video, like, that man is hurt. Oh, he that's nothing. Hurt. Like, that man's hurt, man. Oh, you don't know. You don't know. I mean, you could just see the layers of, of depth. Just watching that – just that wax. <laughs> you <laughs> you haven't <laughs> seen hurt. <laughs> Worst decision you've ever made. Worst decision I've ever made. I've, I think I've answered this before. Uh, they, every time I go back to the Syndicate 1v1. Oh. Uh, huh. I mean. What do you. I what do you into. regret? Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to know. I want to know what, what part of the, the whole thing do you regret? Um, that's it's pretty much. That's pretty much. I, my channel's never recovered from it. But which part of it do you personally regret because it's you know multifaceted the whole thing um a lot of stuff happened i regret not winning <laughs> <laughs> that's not a that's not a regret really you, i mean you wish you, you had regret one, how you handled it do you regret that, like would you would you what not everyone's even looking it? for in this call except me just listening is don't you see that what was so bad about that wasn't the fact that you lost the game but the fact that you lost the game with poor sportsmanship that uh, no, no. I would probably react the same way right now because, like, I don't take, I don't, I don't believe in that good game bullshit. Let me make this clear. You see, you see. Let me make this clear. I don't believe in that good game bullshit. <laughs> you know, like, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like, you know, not. When you lose a baseball game nine to zero, you don't go shake the other motherfucker's hands like, yeah, you outplayed us today, buddy. 
wait a minute. Wait, okay, wait. Back to the question from 15 minutes ago. Was there something that happened off of Painkiller already that I wish we could have shared with the fans? I wish you guys saw what happened after we turned the camera off. Wings of Redemption just got more insane. <laughs> it just got oh, crazier. What oh, if you, if you think throwing the controller was the max of his insanity that night, he had not yet begun to go crazy that night. <laughs> Right, Wings? Come on, say a thing. I don't, I don't, rem I don't really remember much of it. What? You were seriously talking about homicidal. Sh <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't remember much of it. To be perfectly honest, I believe the maglite teeth soup think, thing came see, up again. This is why we this can't plausible deniability for trip. Wings. Wings would kill him. <laughs> well, wings I, would I, smother I, him in the night. And wings then... has cooled down since then, right? Right? Wings. I wouldn't need to smother him at night. I'll have weapons. Oh <laughs> I'd love to have Syndicate, but I'm afraid Wings will kill him. Uh, I, uh, I don't want to give away and, Wings' and everybody, the, or anything the, the, he wouldn't say, but he was he was insane that night. And, and yeah, Syndicate yeah, came on the call. He used the term insane. I, I, I use it as like a regular person that would a guy that did bad in my rooms. No, no. He got the bonus plan. Right, he, <laughs> have you like if you lose a game, right, playing COD in a pub match? Do you say you're gonna knock that guy's teeth out and then use his soup and blood to make uh, use his blood and teeth to make a soup? I think I've told that to at least Kim Kardashian. Because <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker wanted to talk about he was playing the objective, but I didn't see no captures and I seen a whole lot of deaths. I, you wanted to Wait. kill him. <laughs> Wait, can we go back? To <laughs> I probably you, do you that. realize yeah, right. that the that the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole hit to your channel, your channel never recovering. It's not because you lost. That's not the reason. No, nobody cared. No, no. If, see, I, I'm. I still think if I went in there and boss busted them out twenty to one, I wouldn't have lost no subscribers. I'd have gained them. No, if you had, but yeah, but you you're not capable of doing that because he's really. Good at Call of Duty. What you no, are I wasn't capable, capable of doing that because there was a time limit and no, he, I, it was a cat I mean, and mouse game. Hang on, hang on. Let, let's just be real here. Syndicate's a better player than I've ever been. He's incredible. And as far as zombies, it, I think he's I'm, he, I'm he go was at that time, literally the best asshole. in the world. Literally number one. This is going to sound like an asshole. What you seen that night was the one out of ten game. I would have beat him nine out of ten times, especially in that time. But, but you don't think you could beat him now. Okay, I, okay. No, I couldn't. I couldn't beat him now. I mean, like See, I don't play the exactly. game enough. I knew that was gonna. I'm be just the gonna next. throw this out there. Painkiller already 200 rematch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't play. I play Call of Duty like once a month now. It's six that. months from now, and I still think about what we're gonna do for PKA 200 sometimes. Yeah. Have a guess. Talk about stuff. No, nah, we're gonna go <laughs> on that survival trip. <laughs> oh, six months. Probably. From now? Probably, I think this the season. September is where we should have it. September is where we should be out on that. We're, we're gonna trip. plan it around squirrel and rabbit season. It starts in September. And like, I wanted to be hot enough so it's not thirty degrees. But no, no, no let's stay on topic here. No, no, no. The, the, yeah. the real issue there, man. I mean, was... we're, this is a lightning round. We're sitting there discussing this. What okay. No, no, no. Oh, man, I say. Oh, you're gonna let him get out? No, I didn't no. You press no. him if you want. Topic dodger. I, oh. <laughs> Wait, the reason that people unsubscribe from your channel and never such a fun is because you were such a dick after you lost. I, yeah, man. And I can't, I, can't, I can't be like, oh, yeah, you're right. I, I'm still a dick when I lose. <laughs> you, you tried to bribe that motherfucker. There was all that crazy. I did not try to bribe it. Like, that, that didn't happen? That, that What happened there was DJ Keemstar came around and Alki David offered me a deal, and the deal was almost bribe-worthy. Like, they offered Syndicate money to throw the match pretty much. Why would they want him to throw the match? Why they just want the same they match? Wanted, they wanted it on uh, what was that? Battle dot net. Yeah, but what would be their their motivation for wanting a fixed game rather than an all out fight? I don't know. Yeah, exactly, man. Like that. Uh, come on. That, I, I I I seriously copy pasted it to him because at the time she could have used the money too. Because okay. I was gonna get like twenty five hundred bucks and he was gonna get like six grand. Wings. You, you could have lost that game and still come out not nearly as bad as you. Yeah, you, and, and Woody was trying to, like, smooth it over. He was like, who else wants to play? And Redneck was like, I'll play. And Redneck, and, and, like, Redneck did a great job there. They were trying to, like, smooth this thing over and move past it. And, you, you know, you just went too heavy with it, man. 
You just went too hard. I know exactly what I did wrong, but I'd probably do it again. You called me a f***ing <laughs> fat. Yeah, you, you yeah. snapped, dude. <laughs> I watched it like two to three days ago. I watch it a lot. It's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Like, you like, start like, linking me in those videos because I try to, I try to take you down every time. me or something. God, like, there, I there's said, tons of them. You can't get them all. I said <laughs> something like, "That sucks, man. I've been there," or something close to that. Yeah, you said, though, "I've been there, man. I've been exactly where you are," or something like that. Uh, yeah. But I think before that, I think I said what I just said. I was like, "That sucks, man. I've been there," and he's like, "I don't suck, man." And I was like, "That's no, you're, you're insane right now. I didn't say you suck," and uh, and then you called me a. <laughs> And I forget exactly what triggered that, but uh, but and you're I, like oh, wings, <laughs> and like, like you're like trying to smooth it over, and he got really, in, and then I guess the chat was being uh, was being pretty cruel. Oh, so. that's a thing too. Like uh, we were I live on Twitch. Most people have never experienced what it's like to have you know thousands of people chirp at you in like a live stream environment. Yeah, this is yeah, another example of. This is another example of us as a show trying to do things outside the show, outside of just what we're doing here tonight. Um, we, I guess, we'd been watching a lot of Bear Grylls and Survivor Man and that sort of thing, and uh, it was very popular at the time, and and we were into it. We all liked watching them survive in the wilderness with minimal tools and such, and uh, somehow it came up. Hey, let's do a survival trip. Let's go out into the wilderness, the three of us, and uh, let's see let's see how we how we fare, and. Uh, Everybody was on board, except we, for one. Who, I was going to mention the lefty thing. Um, there were four of us on the show at that point. Taylor was not on the show. It was myself, Woody, Wings, and a fourth gentleman named uh, Lefty. And Lefty, when this came up, he was like, ah, that's not for me, boys. Um, you know, that, that, that's not my game. Uh, I, I don't think I'd fare very well. I wouldn't enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm out. We were very respectful of that, Woody and I. We were, we were, we were like, ah, well, all right, man. Cool beans. You know, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Nobody here is going to give you. And then Wings interjects. Pussy, a real man goes into the wilderness and survives. A real man does this and that. A real man does blah, blah, blah. You you know, lefty's from Chicago. So he's like, ah, Chicago. Yeah. I, if I had my passport, I'd come up there to Chicago and whoop your <laughs> lily-livered ass. You know, this is, this is the sort of like mindset that he has that was a really... side joke kyle just mentioned because wings thought that you needed a passport to go state to state <laughs> oh wait no really yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he, wow he really is a uh, <laughs> and so and so you know we were like ah he, he threw lefty really under the bus there because lefty didn't want to do this thing like and you know privately i would have liked lefty to come on the show of course you know four four people on a trip is better than three five is even better but but Three is is acceptable, I suppose. So planning begins. Lots of planning. We're looking at satellite images of potential locations. We settle on this place called the Uari National Wilderness uh, Forest in North Carolina. It's a true wilderness. Um, it's a, I think it's a federal park or a state park, something like that. But you're, you can go out there. You can camp. And uh, we, we, we settle on a date. We all figure up, you know, when we're going to arrive. We, we started we find, like, divvying a... up skill sets, right? Like Kyle was the hunter. I'm particularly good at starting fires. I don't even call what Wings was, but he was working on fires too. And we were just like all thinking about how we were going to succeed at this. Yeah. But... And leading up to it, we're making videos, talking about it. Like one of the things was that we kind of got fixated on was starting fires with flint and steel. And so I made a quick video on one of my YouTube channels of me in my backyard making a fire with flint and steel. You know, it's it's a little annoying at first, but once you get the the the, the knack of it, you can do it. Wings made four videos of him making fire with flint and steel and never accomplished it. He uploaded all four, all four <laughs> failures. They they failed in various ways. They there would be a cut between him going ch 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 and the, the camera would cut, and it would come back on, and then there was a big pile of leaves on fire. And you it was were like, like 18 inches tall, like the fire. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, what happened? Like, like, he just got out a big lighter and lit some leaves <laughs> on fire in his backyard. And again, they're like leaves you'd rake up in your backyard. I'm going literally into the woods and like scratching uh, trees with a knife. He found like, a bird's I, nest and lit it on fire. Yeah, I yeah. I got like, really upset about that. I don't know why. He lit a bird's nest on fire? Yeah. <laughs> well, they weren't in it. <laughs> so so like the day guy. comes. It's time to do this thing. And so I set out on this v quite long drive. I'm going to say it's four and a half, five and a half hours from where I lived at the time 
to where we're doing this thing. So if I leave the night before, I'm going to get a, a motel room in the area 30 minutes from the meetup location. And uh, that way I don't have to drive you know, early in the morning. I don't want to leave my house at 5 a.m., get there at 10 a.m. and be already just kind of out of it before we begin hiking and surviving and such. So I'm driving in the night before. And I think to myself, hey, let me give old Wings a call, make sure we're all good to go here, you know, because it's it's Wings. Call him up, say, hey, man, you, you're ready to do this thing. I'm, I'm driving in now about three hours from the place. What, what are you up to? You know, you could leave, if you left right now, you'd be here around 11 and, uh, you know, you could you could share this motel room with me. I, I could get I could get a room with two beds or something. He's like, I'm not going. What? What, what, what do you mean? I, I'm not coming. When were you going to tell me? I'm telling you right now. What? The, what? The, so I call. I, I, I text Woody. I'm like, he's not going. He's not <laughs> going. And so Woody gets on the phone with him. Woody tries to talk. And I'm thinking like Woody's going to talk him into this. I'm still driving with this idea. Woody will talk him into this. Woody's a great motivational speaker when he needs to be. And I'm sure Woody There's was some selling some compilations him with... of me telling Wings like, you know, if you want to be an extraordinary person, you have to do extraordinary things. <laughs> <laughs> be a winner, not a loser. Be a doer, not a donter. You know, Very that, Henry Rollins-esque. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this sort of talk, you know, and... and he just doesn't fucking come. He just mm -hmm. doesn't fucking come. And, and 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 it's now it's just me and Woody in the woods. Now it's just <laughs> now it's just kind of weird. So it really took the wind out of our sails. And and uh, and you know I, I ended up getting violently ill like yeah. on the first night of the survival trip. I think from some tainted tap water. But uh, in any case, like, like no, I, it was because you weren't very good at swimming through that stream and you swallowed that's stream my water. Theory. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I drank some river water and. I think that's what I was vomiting like for I was hours. Swimming all over that river like it was nothing. Like I see a frog out there yonder. <laughs> I'll go get it. You know, I think I shot a turtle. <laughs> so he, he he left you guys high and dry. Then you you had this all set up, all ready uh -huh. to go. It was going to be this big thing, and then at the last minute, you you talking to him, and he says, "No, no, I don't think so." What's it going fine. to notify us? I I think that the next morning at nine a.m. we were just gonna Woody and I were, would have pulled up to that bait and tackle shop slash restaurant uh and just been sitting there at the table and be like no, no no we don't want to order yet our friend's coming and like <laughs> at like 10 minutes 20 minutes an hour would have gone by i'm like no 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 we're yes we're hungry but I, oh, it's lunch now I, well <laughs> we'll wait we'll wait for our friend and he just never would have shown i don't think he was ever going to notify us that he wasn't coming if i hadn't called him and asked like he was also showing up late for shows right like like we, we scheduled have different ones i i think for kyle bailing on this survival trip was a really big offense it was for me i didn't like it but i could almost take it or leave it it was like all right wings isn't here the survival trip i felt like just got a little easier i didn't expect him to pull his That's weight funny. i expect it well true for sure yeah yeah no i wish he was there but there was at least a little part of me that was like but well now i don't have to find like one and a half persons worth of food you know like me and a half and you would have you know i i sort of thought we were gonna like he was going to do less than his share. So it wasn't like a big criminal offense to me. I, I, I had harbored other things. Like, like remember the guy we talked about who said he was going to anally rape my wife and daughter and compared my son to sh Wings gave him money. And I felt like that, like for me, that was a real betrayal, right? This is a guy who doesn't just attack me. He attacks my wife and my children. Wait, no, say, say, I'm sorry. Say that again. So the guy that's screwing with you and your family, he gave him money? Yes. Yeah, via PayPal. So do we want to get to the elephant in the room? Hey, I have a name. That's not why you call is on <laughs> iTunes. I know everybody's been talking about it, okay? I like Chiz's thing. I have a name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes. I suppose we should talk about the elephant in the room. Yeah, so we've decided, uh, it was a group decision, we decided that uh, Wings of Redemption wasn't going to continue with us uh, on the show for at least the, the foreseeable future. Um, he's got a lot of stuff that he needs to work out before he's, you know, up to par with, with with what we need from him, you know. He he's he's having a hard time, and uh, he's he's made some decisions that we didn't feel were were so friendly. So for the time being, uh, we're gonna we're gonna continue without him. We have not replaced him with anyone. Uh, Chiz is our guest tonight, and we will be looking into someone who will fill in in more of a uh, long term role. That may be Chiz. That may be, uh, you know, it might be Pootie Pie. It's gonna be somebody. We'll find out soon. Yep, yep. Uh, I know that. I I feel like. 
the subreddit. We've been super active on the subreddit. I know all those guys that are probably watching right now. It, it, it's called PKA. If you're a redditor, you might know how to find a subreddit. And uh, and I think a lot of people would like a laundry list that kind of explains how we arrived at our decision. And I don't know what left he's smiling at. <laughs> yeah, and, and the laundry list really wouldn't be fair to Wings. We're not. Exactly. We don't want to trash Wings. We don't want to call Wings up. Call Wings out. Um, you know. We don't we don't like doing that, but um, suffice it to say, he's made some decisions. Not just recently; it's not something he did recently necessarily. It's it's just a, it's everything that he's done that that has kind of added up together. That's and that's why we made this decision. And, and so. if if Kyle or I or anybody were to sit here and list out everything that that we didn't think was the right way to go about things over the last couple of years, without him here to defend himself or give his side then that would be inappropriate. So uh, Correct. And then, oh, and then the other thing is, like, I, I saw a video go up. It was, like, Wings of Redemption versus Woody's Gamer Tag. I haven't said anything negative about Wings in, in the public space. I, um, I am not here to tear the guy down. I hope that he succeeds. I want him to yes. succeed in social media. I want him to succeed in his life, in his family, in his love life. And, like, I, I have... I am not here, like, rooting for this guy to, to fail. You guys have heard me talk many times about my list of people to kill. Wings of Redemption is not on that list. You know, Wings of Redemption <laughs> yes. is on the other list. I can I, confirm. I've seen the list. <laughs> you know, I, I hope that Wings does well in his life, and I'm not sitting here rooting against him. Um, that's just not how this is. So if you see, like, you know, some sort of opportunist try to drum up drama and act like this is a, um, a Wings versus Woody thing, don't get it twisted. Um, it, it was really the nope, cast of the show. Not the show, case. Not the case at all. Uh, the cast of the show just decided that, um, you know, that we'd be better off this way. Yeah. So um, what do you want to tackle first? Do you want to go into I think about him so much. Like, I think about <laughs> Wings. <laughs> God, it sounds like an X. <laughs> I think about wings every single day, at you least give a dozen Aaron times. A little, feedback, or a little background on. So Jeff wings Parker used to be part wings. of this podcast. He actually was one of the the founding member. Um, he recruited uh, Woody and myself to to be part of his podcast with him, and then we kicked him off of it as soon as we could make some money. As soon as we <laughs> saw the, the ability, that's oh the... come on, Woody, let's just let it all out. No, as soon as we found the, the ability to monetize this cow, we kicked the pig out and we milked it dry. Oh, we, Jesus and, Christ. We've been, and we've been keeping that up for the last few years. See, that's all his version of events. What actually happened is this large <laughs> gentleman who used to be part of the show had a terrible work <laughs> ethic, and uh, and uh, he was voted off unanimously. By uh, by everyone involved with the show and some people who weren't, you know, we asked some random people on the street. They wanted him gone too. Chiz, Chiz wasn't tech, didn't really even have a vote, but he wanted him gone. So you know, it just seemed like the thing to do. So, and uh, so now he lurks in the shadows, uh, and he streams online. Yeah, Chiz, you wanted him off. You made that whole angry video about it in black and white. It's like an hour long, dude. Come on, it, it was it's a little black weird. and white, and it is. I watched an hour it the other long. day. It's it's. it's it's kind of it's kind of scary, yeah, you know. You're in the <laughs> black and white, and you're like talking about how bad the guy is. Um, but but now he uh, he streams, and he he has ballooned, if you will, up to nearing nearing a quarter ton uh, at this point. So he, wings wings started this, and then y'all booted him for work ethic. Yeah, that's absolutely yeah, that's right. About yeah. the core of it, yeah. There Ooh. was some other th issues with me too, like uh, like betrayals here and there. He used to just talk smack about me. I think they would. Make it so you can disable certain things. How do you disable stuff? It's not even about disabling the main gun. I hate facing the 1v1 XM8. I hate it. It's not... No, we're 1v1ing, and, like, he cannot beat me without jumping. Matter of fact, let's just do it. Let's do an honor system. No M8, no jumping, Nova. You down? Edit game rules. I'm, I'm looking at them. They're, like, there is Like, kills per death, round with game scoring, spawn. It's not there either. Health and death. Yeah, man, I'm down. No jumping. Let's go. Let's go, Wings. We'd stop making excuses. Buddy. Don't make him stop making excuses, my dude. You lost until I decided to start pushing you. Uh, Band wrestling profiles, please. Dark Carnival. I win most of my 1v1s. I would have won that one. I literally would have won that one if I wouldn't have got tired of f***ing facing him. No jumping, Pim. Black Ops. Weapons free. No jumping, my dad. You can wall run, you can slide.
Come on, man, your host. You should be killing me. Oh, you just jumped. Easy. Come on. Easy. You're using another precision weapon. All right, whatever. Easy, my. Fucking fanboys come to you. To your savior. Easy, easy. Johnny. <sighs> yeah, I gotta use the XR2 no. as well. Why are you streaming that shit? Why are you streaming that shit? Oh, he's jumping. Look, he jumped. Oh, he jumped. Chill. Chill, chill with the jumping. How's he expect me to get to him if I can't jump into the window? Yeah, you, you just disqualified yourself. You jumped. Muff, you already jumped, but you jumped well before I did. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I guess we're allowed to jump now. I'm going to jump just because, because you did it. Oh, I jumped. Sorry about that. Oops. Yo, don't smash your controller off the wall, bro. <sighs> Easy. Mm-hmm. You just don't compare. Yeah, I'm reading chat while sitting this far, man. You're a loser, yeah. We're good. Superman! <laughs> I'm not proud of being f***ing good, I never claimed to be good, this guy's just as the cock is f***ed. Thinks he's good, he's f***ing trash. Look uh, at you f***ing jumping, dude! Uh, no, no, no. Easy, no. easy, why are you shooting that sh This guy's continually jumping! <laughs> look, look, look. I'm dead. I don't even know this stuff. Hold that arrow. Hold that arrow. Alright, hold up. Alright, Nova. Here, up, you lost that one, so we're one for one. I lost? You jumped first. No, 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 that's man. not what we... No jumping means no jumps to kill. You said no jumping. You didn't fucking... You could just bend the rules like that. Shut up, man. You got the fucking game and No jumping. Let's go. And for, no precision weapons. We're no XR2s. No, you got to use... No, you got to use a fully automatic weapon. No jumping. You want me to say that? I, I do it. I do it. No, he lost. Like, the rules was no I jumping. Do. He jumped, killed me twice. Are we, are we, are we going to jump? Are we going to jump? We're not. The rules? You, you, you can jump if you got to go up to a level. But you can't jump to, to, like, kill somebody. You can't stand behind a truck and jump straight up in the air and use your little scuff controller and kill people. So, can, 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 wait, 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 wait. So, can I wall run and jump away, like... You, know? you could like if you're gonna wall, you can wall run and you can like jump into buildings and off of buildings, but you can't jump to get away. You can't jump to win a gunfight. You can't jump to win a gunfight. You got into a position in in the bedroom by jumping up there. I've just said you could jump if you need to traverse a building because like what's the difference? That's just to speed the game along. The problem is you're using your scuff controller to win gunfights. I'm just assuming it because you do. What? You're assuming what? You're assuming it because I do. That doesn't even make any sense. You're an idiot. Don't ask though. Mm-hmm. Bumper jump. You want me to learn an entire different controller configuration and play at a high level instantly. It's not going to happen, dude. Let's just play this game without jumping. I don't need a mother... I'm not setting rules to favor myself. There, there, nothing that ha... I can't do the scuff jump. I don't care. I don't no, care. I know you don't care. Don't Please care. just shut the f*** up. You sound like an idiot. What's, what's 12 times 6? What's, all, what's that off the top of your head? Your you can't mind. answer it. We know you can't answer it. You just, you've already lost. You just lost the round. No precision weapon, dude. Oh, I forgot. Alright, let me change. Hold up. Hey, you're getting free care. Kill me. Here you go. Kill me. <sighs> you're trapped in this. Entertaining. Mm-hmm. You be thanking me, bro. I'm entertaining your chat. Who are you? Just give me that, that donation money. That's so money. Oh, jumping! Wow. Dude, you got nothing without the jump. Without that scuff jump shot, you got you have nothing. 
Like your whole game is centered around, your whole game is centered around like jumping at an odd angle and winning a gunfight. Okay. That's how the game works, buddy. That's the mechanic in the game, but you know. I'm just trolling you, chill. It's not like it, 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 yeah, whatever. I hope your family dies in an automobile wreck. What? I say that because you're a fucking piece of shit. You're a human equivalent of a piece of shit. It's a video game. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my. What the fuck is wrong? You would have lost that first game. I should have just stayed my stayed my course. I gave you that fucking win. I gave you the win. Yeah, while you were crying after it, you're like, Oh, you made jumping, and you have to make your own rules, and you're still losing on your own rules, I'm dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got nothing to say, you're an idiot. Mm-hmm. Hillbilly and bird moron. Let's try to find this, bro. I'm gonna pull out my bath. <sighs> Dude, it, it's oh, easy shit. because I gotta go to you every f***ing time. You never come to me. Oh, that sounds familiar. Oh, mm -hmm. you have to come to me. Oh. Okay, whatever, dude. Wow. End of the day, I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. End of the day. Mm -hmm. End of the day, I'm just gonna ban you out the stream and go play TDM. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna let you get on my nerves. Yeah, I already got you, homie. You're tilted. You already did what? You're tilted. You are tilted. I'm not tilted, man. Let's play this patience game. Yeah, that really worked out for you last time, huh? Mm hmm. Hey, Brandon, how you doing, man? 36 months. You a beast. Yeah, Brandon. Put shit with the 36 months, homie. Did you subscribe for 36 months to a guy who said to me he hopes my family dies in an automobile accident? Mm -hmm. I don't even know the fucking guy. Mm hmm. That's why you're in my, that's why you're in my session joining this session. $5 for 36 months to that guy. Mm hmm. Props to you, buddy. Oh, precision weapons, bro. Dude, you only use two weapons in the game. Chug your fucking MLG shit. Superman. Oh, shit. Trust me, if you want to play a you want to play a patience game, you can't beat me. I will. I'm never. I'm. I'm gonna let you know right now. I'm never heading towards your red dot. We're good. This is gonna last an hour. I'm never coming toward you. You're gonna have to come fight me out of head glitch every fucking time. Real sure, talk. Sure. Real talk. It's happening like that. Sure. You're going to beat me on my terms from the rest of this game. I'm playing on your f***ing host on across the world and you said no jumping. I've been playing on your terms the whole f***ing time. Shut mm -hmm. up. I don't care. Mm -hmm. You got nothing to say. No counter argument. You just f***ing keep talking. Shut up. Yep. Shut up, please. I don't know why you wandered around back there. I'm I'm over here. Yeah, okay, look at the scoreboard. I don't know what Mm-hmm. That scoreboard's gonna change rapidly. Yeah, just like the last two times, huh? Yep. Uh, how does it feel? I'm on your own host. I'm in Ireland, man. Come on, Jesus Christ. You also got a scuff controller. Cross. No even if I did, how is that relevant? Be because you're I? cheating. That's literally cheating. How is that cheating? I don't even have a scuff, okay? But that, how is that how's cheating? The, how's somebody with a jitter model and a brekkie cheating? You're a moron. You really how, are how, a moron. No, 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 no. That's what you call logic. Because with the jitter model affects the in-game gameplay, the f button... On the so screen. having a better button layout than somebody else is not cheating? You're, you're so stupid. It's unbelievable, man. This guy doesn't sound like he's from Ireland at all. It sounds like he's from Mexico. Mexico. You sound Latin. Here we, Here we go. You and your assumptions, man. Do, does, am I... Uh, everybody in the chat, do, am I wrong? Does he sound Latin? Yeah, chat, come on. Defend me. Defend me, guys. Chat, defend Jordy. <sighs> yeah, dude's right. Yeah, I am right. See? See, I sound Canadian. Where you at in Ireland? That's him way in Ireland, uh, Claire. Southwest. 
Jordy Jordan. Is he being serious about the controller? Yeah. I'm just going to go play TDM. Starboard. Go ahead and ban Nova from the chat, guys. Yeah, guys, chat button, back me up. Everybody follow me on Twitter at NovaMPS. Let's go. Easy win. 3-0. How do you feel? Get up 3-0. Why are you streaming that sh- Why are you streaming that sh- Why are you streaming it? Well, it's just f***ing pointless. Like, my whole goal of streaming is, is to, for it to be entertaining. And, like, he is not making any effort of fighting me. He's literally walking around the edge of the map. Uh, Band Chilled Phantom, Kaylee Lads. Anybody that has negative thoughts or, or thinks they wants to talk bad about me, just go ahead and ban them. Yeah. All right, so um, I went up to Wings of Redemption's place the other day to, uh, to get his photographs for the hot sauce bottles. The wings of redemption, the hot wings of redemption, the hot sauce, and uh, I knew I was getting close when I saw the civil Civil War reenactors um, out mm -hmm. in the field. They were they were they had a real battle going on out there, and I could tell the South was winning. Um, they, they were really chasing those Yankees <laughs> I, off I, the honestly, field. Honestly, I don't think that's that's not that uncommon. They recreate really? battles. They only and do those battles. Have the South win. I've heard of that. Yeah. How how sad yeah. is it's that? It's like Gettysburg. Yeah. It's like Gettysburg 2. The South is stomping their asses. Like, we got this this time. Oh. So I get past the Civil War ring and actors, and I pull up in his yard. And uh, his mom and uh, a couple other people are over on Gangster Grandma's porch. And uh, she kind of comes over. Says, you looking for Jordy? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, where's he at? She's like, he's in there in his room. Um, so, so I walk into the house, and I can see him kind of in his office there. And uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of sitting at his desk. I assume he's playing a video game. But no. He's doing a live podcast. He doesn't tell me this, of course. I just <laughs> become a part of the live podcast. I you want to say hello? Yeah. Uh-oh, special guest. Kyle! Oh, shit. Hello! What's up? What up, Kyle? Where's the flamethrower at? Well, he, flame he can't hear you. Yeah. Well, tell yeah. ask him what a flamethrower is. He wants to know what a flamethrower is. At. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> tell him about the Russian no, I just carry out. one round with me, just for special occasions, you know. <laughs> well, since you do it... Uh oh. You got to sign the wall. Sure, I'll sign the wall. Where? If if you sell the house and you want to get rid of it, you, it paint goes right over it. I, I, I'm uh, sure. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's no big deal. I knew a guy. He uh he blew off the end of his pinky finger, and it splattered on the wall while he was reloading bullets. Yeah. And so he cut that piece of the wall out when he moved and took it with him because he had that big blood splatter on yeah. it. Yeah. Can you ask Kyle to smell yeah, your chair? The, Flamethrower. I don't know. We're not doing that. <laughs> Are y'all doing the podcast show now? Yeah, that's the uh, actual show. Well, hello to the podcast show. <laughs> hello, everybody. Yeah. All I right. thought I was walking in some kind of uh, group conversation here. You want me to just back out and let you wrap it up? We're wrapping it up, yeah. All right. Nice seeing you, Alex. Nice seeing you, too. I, I don't think we've ever met before properly, but I've watched you and I like you. So that's, a, that's an E handshake. Yeah. Good deal. <laughs> okay. He the signed your hand. wall. Uh, he signed it FPS Russian. Some cool videos. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got the pictures for the uh, for the hot sauce bottle, and uh, nice. hung out with Wings for probably an hour, and then turned around and came back. So an I was driving hour. all day and all night. That was that's way yeah. I didn't stay than very long. Well, yeah. See, I you know it's it's like five and a half hours up there, and then five and a half hours back. Well, I figured so you'd stay gonna... there. You know, maybe like make a pillow fort and just chit chat for a while. Girl talk. Oh, Brushes. maybe may, just. I, I certainly didn't want to impose upon uh, uh, upon wings and and stay over there, and I didn't really want to get a hotel. Uh, I knew my girlfriend preferred if I came home that night, and I preferred it that way too. My Casper mattress was waiting on me back home. I wanted to get on that. Um, so, what what did happen though was wings at some point was like, um, I think I, I either said to him or he said to me, I was like, you know, you should come to my house uh, at some point, and we should shoot or we should blow some stuff up or something like that and have some fun. And he was like. Well, I was thinking I'd just come for a week. And I was like, hmm, all right then. So it looks like Wings is going to come stay at my house for uh, for a week at some point uh, coming up fairly soon. So I, I think he's a little stressed out with the way things are going back home. And he's not, uh, he's uh, whatever, a little stressed out by all that stuff. So I think he might come stay with me for a week at some point in the upcoming future. We haven't nailed down a date, but. You could bet that we'll film some of that. Um, there's no reason not to. If he's here, I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity, and, and I'll film some of uh, him hanging out. So, so did, that'll be fun. I did think. you and Wings do anything fun? 
for your your hour together? Um, flamethrower. We, we we took took a lot of pictures. Uh, he shot me flamethrower at some hot wings. I was kind of doing this bit where he's cooking the hot wings of redemption with a flamethrower. So he's got like the pan of raw wings and he's flamethrowing them, and then you reveal the the cooked wings. Uh, we'll see how good that footage comes out. I'm just honestly not very uh, optimistic about it. Um, but I did get the photos for the the the, the bottle. Which Can you give a quick preview pose in. for how he was standing uh, in the pose? Maybe like kissing his fingers, like maybe. Mm, mm, yeah, we got like so we got you know we got this great face, thumbs up, some some of those, and uh, definitely got some some of those, uh, several of those. I'm like when he's you know when he's doing doing that little motion so mm-hmm. I, I think i got, got my bases covered and you know we're gonna add a little photoshopping to the thing we're not gonna have him just standing in his kitchen maybe i'll have him in like the juilliard institute of culinary technology or something in the background or some bullshit him in front of a clean <laughs> wall right to make it easier to like he's in front of kitchen cabinets and stuff i guess you get what you get you know <laughs> that would have been a better idea. Be, you know those like blocky Photoshop cutouts <laughs> where it's, like his shoulder, like there's there's part of a cabinet in it, and it's just it doesn't look natural. He's standing on the lawn as there's the like case. chefs around him sautéing raspberries and scones, <laughs> and, and it's just him there kissing his fingers with a salty vinegar sauce. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure it does look clean and correct, even if, no matter what that ma- takes. But yeah, I got to see Wings. hadn't seen him in a while. It was good to see him. Uh, we talked. We talked a lot of politics. You know, he's a Sanders uh, supporter. Still, um, this was bef- um, Well, this was this was before this past Tuesday oh, yeah. when you know they Hillary re- won everything, um, all, all five states. I you're think right. it was. I think so right. he was. Yeah, a Sanders supporter, um, and so we talked a lot about Sanders and uh, and Trump. And, uh, you know, I, I think we mostly agreed for the most part about the good things about Sanders and the bad things about Sanders and the good things about Trump and the bad things about Trump. And we both agreed that Hillary was just not a solution to anything. Um, so I had a good time hanging out with Wings. I, I think I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to him coming and staying for a week. I think we'll come up with some activities this time that don't revolve about around uh, weight loss for sure. Just have some fun. Like, like... Dude knew I was here. Come the f on, man. Dude, they just keep going back to my fucking spot. They're just sitting on my spot over there near the docks. There's like three of them. There's three. You got three. You got three dudes on your team right there on, in, a, in a in a clan. Quit sniping. Get some skill. Quit sniping. Get some skill. Come the fuck on, man. Real talk. Dude, shut the fuck up, dude. You're a little kid. Ah, damn it, dude. Webby, f***ing leave, dude.
All right, guys. If they join session again, I'm I'm just gonna have to stop playing until they until they leave. Like all they're doing is hurting my livelihood. If somebody could please like get me their information, like maybe like um I forgot what it's called, but. Like, uh, if, if somebody could get me, like, their information, like, their name, their address, the number, how I can get in contact with these guys, I would really like to know because, like, I'm seriously considering um, suing them. Because at this point, they're going to follow me around when I stream, and they're affecting my business at this point. Honestly, they're affecting my, they're, they're affecting my, they're affecting my ability to make money. It appear offline doesn't work. I'm fucking offline. No, they're they're joining through recent players. Look here. Look here. Look, listen. Appearing offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. Um I'm banning anybody trying to give me advice. Real talk. My mod should be doing this. I got to play. I don't give a fuck at this point honestly. I don't care. I hate everything to do with life. He's following me right now, shooting at me. I just wanted to have a good fucking stream, dude. That's all I wanted to do. Can you, can you, can you please stop, dude? Honestly, can you stop, Kudzo? Like, why are you doing this to me? Real, real talk, why? Alright guys, um, I give up. I don't know when I'll stream again. I really need to make this money. I, I really wanted to get this surgery, man. I wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to fucking stream and... Have a good time, baby. Have a good game. <laughs> Yeah, it's really no it's pun sad. intended. Best thing, like anything you know, I think.
can shout at me, they can take off my stuff. But when you know you've got that, you know, when they say, I'm not mad. How do you tear down an adult? You put them in solitary confinement. You take every privilege they they have away to the point where they either, they're, they're afraid of not doing good. I mean, it's not like breaking down like that. Dude, I, my life sucks. My life sucks. And like, it, it's even worse when I get on stream playing a game I don't like, and then it's just people just come out of the woodworks to troll. Yeah, buddy. I'm, 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 I'm upset right now because I've lost in like seven matches in a row. Wings. Dude, don't call me. First off, to stop a calling me wings. wings in a row. Stop calling me Wings, please. I quit. I took that moniker off a long time ago. That's it. That's it. I can't. I can't. You say another word like that, you get banned from this channel, please. Keep in mind, I do not joke around. I do not. I do not giggle. I do not try to have fun. I do not try to laugh. So please say stuff with something constructive and don't, don't try to joke around with me. Like I hate Call of Duty. I can hate it. Dude. It fucking ruined my life. Because he's gonna team kill me eventually, and he's not trying. He's giving bad call outs, and he's keeping the mic space over. It's ridiculous. Man. I mean, you're doing what they want, pretty much. They're trying to get the reaction out of it. That's you, Horvath. Morphix, if you had to deal with this for over a year, I've been team killed over 300 times from this. Why am I so toxic? Because like nobody can come in here just have a good time. There's always people begging for me to play another game, you know, talking about I don't stream enough and shit like that. I don't fucking deal with that. I don't give a fuck if Trump gets impeached. Matter of fact, banned. All right, come on, start banning people that ask to play on PC from this point on. <sighs> I also ban anybody that asks about Black Ops from this point on. I need to stop. I went to bed, fell asleep about 30 minutes later, woke up, and now I'm streaming again. why people want to feel the need to, to come in here and try to make my life worse. I'm a 450 pound dude that can barely walk. My life can't get much worse. Go go, go bother somebody like the syndicate who steals money from children and 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 drives Lamborghinis and, and be a total f***ing douchebag his entire life. How's it been, man? I'm not here to conversate, man. You're not here to talk? No. Talk about the game. Tell us about yourself. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a 30 year old, overweight male. Um, have no dreams or ambitions. All those have died. Uh, trying to go for debt free. That's the last life goal I got. Yesterday, I went way to fuck overboard and I didn't even realize it. Yesterday, I had like 15 boneless wings. I had like five pork chops, two plates of mashed potatoes, um, I ate some Fruit Loops, and I also had a bag of Doritos. It's like, that, I'm like, that's the day where you gain weight, Jordy. And th those days happen sometimes, and like, you, and those days usually you don't, like I didn't even feel, you're not taking into account like how I see people that that you that that I used to be above now well above me on my own channel. You're not taking pride into account. You're not taking into account that I feel like my health is going to be falling off the fucking cliff. There, there's a million things that I stress about every day. There's a reason I'm 30 goddamn one with gray hair and a gray beard and my fucking hair falling out. There's a reason why I feel like a fat tub at every ounce of my day. There's reasons for this. All you want to do is sum it up with fucking lazy. Fuck you a few seriously if I was lazy I wouldn't have done three videos a day for five years trying to grind out and make something for myself if I was lazy I would have went back to work in a factory because I wouldn't have to think about shit. oh come the f on who invited this troll oh my god Clarky what are you doing I don't know 
Oh my lord, Clarky, f*** off. You're a goddamn troll. Ban anybody with the name Clarky underscore underscore ARD. That's a troll name. That's a f troll name right there. F*** you, Clarky. Cheese Johnson 69, what were you doing over there? You should have been watching the fight, dude. Come on. Who the f*** is this clown? <laughs> I'm trying to get this surgery, man! I can't take this no more, man! Dude, that's just not even funny, bro. I can't believe people still be doing that BGT, what are you doing? What are you doing here, BGT? Clarky is a new BGT. You can leave now, BGT. Your diamond's up, dude. I'm tired of carrying you, man. You're 2-7 in every goddamn game. You can't f***ing aim. Like, come on! I do not advocate M and K, even though I have my team uses it. I do not advocate it, though. It's f***ing bullsh** and cheating. Lord, do you wanna... Ban, ban anybody who uses M and K in my chat room, understand? Yeah. Mods, what are you doing? Yeah, no, that was a Dexley donation. Good morning, fatty. I hope you have a great morning eating McDonald's and Big Macs. Well, thank you, good morning. Hey, Wings, love your strings. When are you gonna show us the truck you bought with the stolen surgery money? Might have. Let me check. Sorry if I ignored it. Uh, yes I did. Puppy pals, here's an hour, here's an hour's worth of labor. Now give me an hour's worth of complaining about things. Well, thank you for being an asshole. Appreciate that. And the other guy was a troll too. And Niceback says, why do you always fight with young people? You're such a loser, fat ass, lying pedo. Well, thank you, Niceback. I'm not any of that, except fat. I also had a dollar donation. Uh, his name is Cat Molester. Shout out to Sean Ranklin. Thank you, Cat Molester. How do you shave your pubes when your belly hangs over your... Okay. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, Wings. The real life you expect you're fat and you cry at video games. Thank you for the $5, homie. Hey, I'm interested in sponsoring you for my Pepsi-sponsored concentration camp. Look here, look, listen. His donor name is Pepsi. He goes, Hey, Samuel Richard. This is a special invitation to the Pepsi Concentration Camp in South Carolina. You be interested in being sponsored and having a tour of our facility. Shout out well watching enthusiast disc try try appearing Lexapro right there. That's a that's a fan of Asian account. Okay, Glass is upstairs. That's me, that's me. Okay, bye. <sighs> Thank you, Wings is Extreme. Thank you for the five dollar donation. Alright, mod one of them was like, what do you think about Woody's channel? And I go like, I I don't know why he sticks around with the, with the little flight videos. This, this this is me paraphrasing, I don't know the exact words I said, but it's like, I, I talked about how his flight videos don't get very many views, and it's because he's not a very charismatic person. That's all I said, and somehow this spawned into this huge drama of me being a terrible person. Wing, you're not charismatic. I know you think you are. You think people <laughs> like you. People don't f***ing like you. Nobody likes you. An entire industry has spawned hating on Wings of Redemption. Wings of Redemption is exactly like a NASCAR driver that crashes every weekend and thinks that people come out because of his driving skills. No Wings. <laughs> People aren't watching you because you're good at gaming. People aren't watching you because you're charismatic. People are watching you because it is a new and fascinating thing for them to see a fucking 32-year-old going on 500 pounds, failure to launch man baby, cry about dying in video games, and deflecting it as if it was someone else's fault. I don't know anyone else like that. The Wings of Redemption is unique in his loserdom. There is no one else that has achieved this level of failure to launch, but who could launch when they weigh that much anyway? Wings, <laughs> keep my name out of your mouth, you fat piece of sh**. Yeah, no. I, I don't know if you are a moron because of a genetic deficiency, or if it's some sort of, like, emotional re like maybe if you were adopted that you wouldn't have turned out like this. It's hard to say, but what is true is you live in a trailer with your mommy talking about how I'm not charismatic. Rage some more Wings of Redemption. Show me more about how what you say people don't know how wonderful you are. That's right, because you're not wonderful. You are just a man baby who cries on stream. And that's why people watch. This is why I don't play Rainbow. I don't stream anymore. It's not fun. You think this content's fun? When, like, I I've literally been team killing. I love it. I can hear you now. Hey, Wings. What's up, man? There we go. Another day in paradise.
<laughs> like, I, like I seen a window popped up and I just instantly exited it out without reading what it was. I can't. You know how in OBS you hit alternate and it like crops? Mm-hmm. Not doing it. Is cropping different in OBS? I don't do all that. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, help me out. I can't crop. <laughs> Shit. All right. I'll just put you on the other side. <laughs> I'm not gonna crop. I'm just gonna this slide you over. Sounds like to donate. All right, I'm boobering this Ask thing up too. <laughs> about the eight. One Chevy engine for me. About oh, to buy Lord. one and miss like, truck. You talk. ever help an old person out with like a computer problem, dude? I solve my the... own problems. That's so. Yes. <laughs> well, if you ever help like a really elderly person out, they sound so proud, prideful when they say like, "Yeah, an error message popped up. I clicked off as fast as possible." <laughs> 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 I need that error message. <laughs> it's guiding you. Uh, so, bro, uh, I, I, by the way, I didn't mean to pressure you into like dual common me or something. For all I know, you don't want to do it. Well, I was, I thought it was, um, you know, like some people will like social engineer things to happen. They'll be like, they'll yeah. go to somebody's stream and like pester them to do it. And then as soon as they agree, they'll go to somebody else's stream and pester them to do it. I figured that's what was actually going down. That's, that is what happened. Yes. That, that's, oh, how, okay. that's how we got here. <laughs> I was trying to think what else is new. I don't know. Married life good? Yeah. Married life is fine. I mean, like, I feel I, I work better in a structured environment than I do on my own devices. And it's it's always better to have a partner in crime. Like, no longer do you have to face life as a solo unit. Like, you're responsible for your your own food, everything like that. It's it's now it's a team based effort on everything. It's a team based effort on the bills, the money, where you're going for life, your you know your desires, your dreams, and and I like that. I like having somebody there at all times. People, My wife's awesome. That's that's good to hear. Yeah, people underestimate it. This whole like someone on your side type thing. It's amazing, and especially with our jobs, sometimes like emotional support can be undervalued. Hmm. And, and like, granted, I'm I'm in a little different scenario than you because like I have people actively trying to find out every little thing about my wife, oh, and like bring her <laughs> down, and I'm doing my best to try to protect her. Some guy is <laughs> spamming in my chat for you to unprivate PKA 101. What is that about? I privated all my chan- all my videos on my YouTube channel. Oh, and like some of them were like PKs that were only on my channel. Oh, that must be why he wants it so much. Maybe yeah. it was. Oh, okay. Well, that could be. Because, and a lot of that comes from trolling. I yeah. was in a very dark period of my life, and I was playing a game that made me upset. And people were making videos about it, and I felt like my life was going down the drain. And people were doing harping on that one little two month period of my life in 2017. I think I know the period. Yeah. You know what? As hard as it was for you to live through, I think it was good financially. It was. I mean, like, I'm, I, I, I don't want to, like, I am I'm doing well. PKA hit episode 500. That's kind of neat. It's a lot of episodes. Yeah, people, I, I'm aware. Oh, have you, oh, I bet they asked you to come on, right? Yeah, thousands of thousands of times. I get that. I get that. Every time there's a milestone, I'm getting asked to come on. Dude, milestones are a problem with the PKA audience. They're always like... I, I, live, in, I live in the world where milestones don't mean anything. Uh, the only thing that really means anything is the longevity of the show. They're, so we had a 10-year milestone followed up by 500. By the way, I, have we missed that many episodes? It's weird to me because we had a 10-year episode, like 20 episodes before 500 and you would think 10 years was 520 so what did we miss 40 weeks of it? we miss a year over the course of 10 years like what the f-? but i don't know they say the first pka was 10 years ago and uh uh so that happened and then the 500 happened and we just said, yeah so i don't know but we should have no more milestones for a little bit now see what balding looks like I can't see. Like, I got to pull this thing down so I can see what live, the like, live camera feed's looking like. Right there, it's bald. Eh. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, my cats have got my office tore up too. So, you, how many? What do you got now for pets? 
I got an American short hair, which is right here on the camera. I got oh, that's tree. an American short hair is a cat. Yeah. Yeah. That's All right. It. It's funny. You could uh, say Labrador, Great Dane. Irish setter, exactly. I know what all those things are, but cats are just cats. <laughs> so, like, I got Rocco, and I started feeling bad for Rocco because when I'd leave the house or something, he's there by himself. Mm -hmm. I considered getting another cat. Then I was dating my current wife at the time, and she's like, get me a cat. I'm like, okay, we'll do this. I want another cat to companion my cat, so we'll get you a cat. So we found Grayson. Grayson is a lovey cat. They mesh well and are happy, but Grayson bonded with me instead of her. <laughs> so now I have two cats that like me and no cats that like her. <laughs> and then we brought Bongo in. I brought Bongo in a little early because I was trying to hide the fact I was married. Okay. I made a little story up that Bongo was like a neighbor's. It was actually my wife's dog. Okay. And Bongo was getting a little mistreated with a wife. She kind of neglected. Yes, it's Mrs. Redemption. Look out. That might be my Twitch name. Yes, he does. He fit in a movie seat even when we met in 2013. Do I watch Geordie's streams? No, actually, I do not. In fact, he's had to tell me what to do this whole time. I have only seen a YouTube of one Twitch person. Um, I agreed to do this because I felt it was time that the people who love Jordy got to meet me and let the other ones know that they don't matter. How do I feel about the troll community? Well, I mean, it works for me. This year alone, I've gotten an Apple Watch. I got Bailey. That was a good one. My Switch. How do I feel about Jordy eating so much chili? I'm cool with it as long as he shares. No. Have you ever heard of PKA? Actually, yes. I would love to go on PKA. Well, the day she <laughs> stood me up, like, actually, I get a call the next day of her crying because of the PKA podcast. I do it the night, the next night. So yeah, yeah, I'd love to go on PKA. I, I actually really love Kyle. Real talk. Why do you like Kyle? I just think Kyle is like so awesome. Why don't I stream PWW? Uh, that might be in the works. It depends on how well I, if I enjoy this. But well, there's only really one machine in the house. Thought on Zach. Well, it's not like you can't share, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thought on Zach's piece. Mm, I'm okay with it. I have a niece that absolutely loves it. What, what, what you got to take into with this question is not everybody has access. So we can talk about the health care for physical shelter maybe. Oh, so he thinks that I traded my health care coverage for your house. Actually, I had my own place and I did. I love your pet, how the pets fits perfectly on Wings guts. They all do that. It's kind of cute. I know what he's yeah, saying. I, and that's why I just kind of played it off. Do I think the trolls will ever go away? No, but I think I have learned how to deal with the trolls better. What do I think of Jordy's past? Uh, you gotta give me a little bit more. Um, who weighs more? I think that's kind of an obvious question answer, but you know, whatevs. Bailey. How have you adjusted to marrying down and settling for him? Oh, I settled for him? You ask me who weighs more and then tell me I settled for him. I miss Jordy on PKA. Me too. I think we should do like a joint stream. You know, Mrs. Wings, Mr. There's Wings. A, there's a thing like, I don't go on PK unless they pay me my part of the share. Oh, you got to get over that dude. They paid They paid a dude I brought on. No, I'm not Jordy's sister. I'm way hotter. Just kidding. Get off your phone. Uh, this is normal life. Jordy on his I'm, phone, I'm ignoring his wife. The fake robbery video, I think you're referring to the uh, Office, Depot. Office Depot. I'll tell you, at first I was upset, but... It's kind of funny at some points. I mean, like, are you able to explain the detail what a predicate is? That's a troll question. Let's ban him just because I can. Have you ever considered a liquid diet? Oh, that's cute. Do you like banquet meals? Serious question. I'm more of a lean cuisine girl. Oh, did we hit a thousand viewers? Yeah, really.
Oh, sweet. Wings bariatric surgery. You know, I'm going to be, uh, it doesn't always work for everyone. I was proud of him for trying it. And I think he's a lot healthier would you agree because that of it. I would have had more success if I didn't have all the extra stress in my life. That can be a factor. Yes. What is the most annoying thing Jordy does? We just covered that. Him and the dang vehicle noises. Y'all, I won't even let him drive my car because he'll tell me a million things is wrong with my car that's not even wrong with my car. The First of all, side dragons. note, y'all. I never thought I'd marry a man who was part of a high school Dungeon and Dragon group. Y'all, what what did I do with we my would life? We play Dungeons and Dragons, then we go to Broadway Louis and play DDR. All right, so Dance Dance Revolution. We might have to look into that. Yeah, I married a nerd. I've come to that conclusion. Yes, Wings is serenading me. I even have videos of said serenades. I'm actually thinking of doing a Twitter so that I can interact with you guys as well. I'll post it on that Twitter once I decide to do that. It I'm a low-key troll. It's about how people receive scores. I'm a low-key troll. I thought I was pretty high- I key in trolling. Is Jordy 400 pounds yet? Not yet. All right, guys. What is what is that? I'm Audi 5000. Is that what he says? 5000. Bye, fam. People. So uh, can you just lay out the storyline for those that are unfamiliar? Yeah, I can. Um, the storyline was basically I had this girlfriend I was kind of seeing, and you guys even pushed me towards her. You're like, this girl could be good for you. This she is, could really oh, help you clean up wait, your wait. ass. This is that one? This is the this girl is, that's the whole, like, she's mm -hmm. a little bit religious, which we know is not really a Wings thing, but, but and she was a virgin, and, and she she was the one. And, and you actually had concerns about seeing this girl because she was so perfect that she might be your last girlfriend ever. Yeah. Right. There was a big build up last week. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the same girl we're talking about here. You know, right. This is the girl like, you know, what's this her name? White what's her name? What's her name? I'm not going to give the full name. Her name's Kelly. Kelly. Right. Kelly. Put okay. it in the chat. Put it in the chat so that I know it. All right. Kelly the. <laughs> oh, God. Kyle can ride. Does she, does, she know, does she know you do this show? She does know if I do this show. Oh, Kelly. Kelly, I Kelly. have your whole name. Wings can't save you now. Tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> when Woody says that's that's really hard. <laughs> All right, hey, he doesn't got he doesn't got a lot of you judge for yourself. Yeah, that was a, there was so, some spit in there. Yesterday that. was Thursday. <laughs> and Thursday, you know, I had I had my videos already set up to go for the day. I'm like, you know, I can start working on Friday's videos, or I can go help my buddy. My buddy's try he had a little bit of money trouble. He's trying to get this car fixed up so he can sell it to you know make some ends meet. So I'm like, I'm going to go help Stan fix his car. You know, he had, so we, I went up there and I spent five or six hours working on this car with him. Fast forward, I get called about 5.15. That's when she gets off. Like, hey, you want to come hang out? And I had to make she a decision right there. She called me. I okay, it was decision. a call. She didn't text you. She called you. It was a text. Not, oh, okay. She texted you. It was a text because I, okay. I never actually talked to her on the phone. So she texts me, is like, you want to hang out? So I had to make a decision right there because the idea was I was going to stay and we was going to grill out at Stan's house after we fixed the car. So I decided, you know, steak. Wait, wait, what were you grilling? It was steaks. Steak? Ooh. So you got to, so you have to choose That's between big. steak and pussy? Yeah, steak and pussy. I was like, oh my god, steak pussy. That steak, is a toughie. Pussy, steak, pussy. Two different kinds <laughs> of great meat. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like. So I got I got to roll the dice, and the problem with rolling the dice here is Medium she right lives there. in like. She lives in a town far, far away. It's like an hour and 15 What's minutes. What's the name what of the town? Socasty. Socasty. All right. Socasty. Soc yeah, okay. Soc I've got enough information there. on Kelly to come take care of her now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so I drive an hour and 15 minutes. And during this drive, well, first off, I didn't leave, for Stan, I didn't leave Stan's house to about 5.35, 5.40. She says she got off work at 5.15. I tried calling her two times between 5.15 and 5.45 before I left the house. Because I wanted to get in touch with her to kind of see where she wanted to go for dinner and stuff like that. Kind of make plans, you know, reasonable. You do. Right. Reasonable. Uh huh. All right. So she didn't pick up either time. So I figured, you know, she must be getting having trouble at work and stuff. So I text her and she texts back. She goes, Yeah, I kind of ran into some stuff. We got to do some more paperwork, you know, end of the week stuff. I should be out in an hour or so. And I'm like, Cool. I got an hour's drive anyway. I'll call you in a bit. So on the way up there, I call her two more times. And this is in the six o'clock hour. Boom, boom, and she doesn't pick up there. So I get the sock of tea, and I'm like, well, 
I don't have I don't know where she lives at. I know where she works at, but I don't want to go hang out at her work. So I text her, and she goes, "I got to work late, and um, I don't know how long it's going to be." I was like, "It's cool. I can wait. Can you at least let you know? Give me your address, and maybe I can go hang out there. So I ain't got to worry about the cops trying to hassle me because I was sitting at a gas station at this point." And she goes, "No." I'm like, well, "All right. Can I go come hang out in the parking lot at work?" She goes, "No." Uh-huh. So I'm like, "Why not?" And she did, and then she stops doing it. So I decide to drive up to her place at that point because I'm like, "Why the hell would she?" Because I was skeptical at this point. Because at this point, they had the I don't know if you ever use like a Facebook. They have that locator where it kind of tells you where somebody's at when they're actually sending you messages. Okay. Because she works in Merle's Inlet, and the locator was saying she was in Myrtle Beach. So Kelly works in Merle's Inlet. Go on. And and so the locator says she's in Myrtle Beach. So I, right there, I hit my bull right away. I'm like, she's not at work no more. So I drive up there, and I notice the parking lot's empty. The place is closed. Nobody's there. So I, I'm like, this bitch is lying to me. Yes! So I'm sending her text messages. I'm like, how much longer do you have to go be at work? <laughs> <laughs> that is and a good she, question. And she sends, me, she sends another lie to me, and I take a picture of the parking lot, and I send it to her. <laughs> that's, 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 that's good. You get him to commit to the lie and commit to another lie. <laughs> and then, like did it. she reply after that? She did, and then she said she got scared because of the missed phone calls, and um, and she was sorry. And I told her she hurt my feelings, and I basically had to drive home. So wait, where was she then? I don't know where she was at. She went. She didn't. She She's didn't in really. Beach. She was in Myrtle Beach somewhere, but that, Myrtle Beach is a big town. We'll find her. I could or help Sharif. you guys find her. I know we, her last name. Can we get name. Sharif's phone number? Can we hit him up? <laughs> she did you wrong, man. She let yeah, you on. She true. had you drive out there. She doesn't live near you. She doesn't live near me even when I'm at home. So it's still a 45-minute drive when I'm at Conway. It's it's cool. she, when you have someone come out, it doesn't matter. what, ha- And it doesn't sound like you did anything wrong at all, Wings. I will say that. But when you, have some, when you invite somebody over, I mean, you know. Now, now, how many how many calls That's across bullshit. how many hours, Wings? Just so we just so we can right, get an it, idea. It, it went down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start it at five fifteen. I went five fifteen. By the time I gave up, it was about eight o'clock. I called four times. So two hours and forty five minutes, almost three hours, four calls. Right. Four when calls you were total. you were driving, how far from where you were, or how far from home? Let's just say, were you away from how far away from your home were you to to go meet this this chick? I'm gonna say 60 miles is the top end because I know Lourdes from Conway is like 27 miles, and then Conway to Sakasi is something like 26 or 27. I think miles. I know everything I need to know here, right? She mm-hmm. said, "Come on out." You texted her, then she started lying about not being there. She came with some bullshit thing. I was afraid of the missed calls. I'm not buying that either. Kelly, That's a scapegoat. Kelly, you. F-ing- Normally, a woman like you, with such a lack of physical attractiveness, would try to make up for it with her personality, but I find you lacking in both. No wonder you're a virgin. Ha. <laughs> I hope the thing, show. Is, the thing I have sent them pictures of this girl so they know what she looks like. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason she spends so much time at church, my friend. Yes. But see, I was hoping and the church not was like she sins. I was hoping <laughs> the church was something she used to fill her life with. I was like hoping like if she had somebody to do stuff with the church would slowly fade out. I, th- I thought it was like a little gimmick she had. It's because they forgive <laughs> over there, and she needs a lot of that. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. she's a. Where does it stand now? Did you just tell her? Is that it? Did you did you just say? Oh, well, she's she been blowing my phone all day. I've no, got... no, no, no. You next time she comes out to you, that's got to you don't you yeah. are not getting in your car to go meet that woman. You anywhere. tell her come meet me. I'm in f-ing Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've completely ignored her today. She sent probably forty messages. Really? Really? So there's yeah. still a chance this could happen? Yes. No. Yes. I I mean I haven't talked to her, but like like she's she still wants it to happen. I don't know why. So what is she saying in these text messages? I mean she, she, you want me to read them to you? You know I do. There was a chance you were gonna patch this up. You should have stopped us before we said all those horrible things. Yes. Yeah, what the f- Man, we just put like her Woody just absolutely eviscerated her. Yeah, that was, her awful. That, was, that was awesome. Up here. I mean, I mean, those are the, the worst things that have ever been said about that woman, ever. <laughs> I, think I, I guarantee right. you. I'm do t- you know it's true? Her friends I'm at a- church don't say that shit about her. No? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have taken a shot at the religion thing if I knew there was good. I was going to be like, Jesus. oh, well, you Look know. Look at you back, like some baby back. Yeah, because we think, no, for <laughs> your sake, for you, me, for we you. don't have to live with her. Yeah, I don't have to live with her either. All right, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you the ones I I actually responded back to. She, Just read them. Read them. I'm gonna. <laughs> she sent me a, she sent me a picture she sent me a picture this morning so go uh -huh. so she goes she sends me a picture and I responded I'm still really mad at you she goes I'm aware you have a right to be you just know I wasn't doing it to hurt you I was protecting myself I go protecting yourself from what a turkey sandwich let me <laughs> let me tell you what you're telling me she goes okay you might have shot me with a gun so I'm protecting myself I don't like being accused of being a killer she goes not what I'm saying at all. You're looking at it as physical harm. Then what are you protecting yourself from? You sh you called me as soon as you get off work and told me, and then you ignored me and lied to me. The fact I drove an hour and a half to meet you shows you how excited I was, only to get someone who seems to like it to, to seems like it's take it or leave it. The thing is, we wasn't nothing we had was nailed down. It wasn't like that. Oh, you told me no, and you couldn't answer my phone calls. Then you used the fact that I called you as a scapegoat to lie to me even more. And then I kind of just stopped talking to her. Damn straight you did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's good. Is it possible that the whole come out and meet me thing was like a test, like some weird sick test to see? I if don't. You're I don't. I don't. I, I'm I, so, I am a grown ass man. I don't play those games at this point. So, could we go back to the text message to to when she first asked you to uh, come out? Could we get that transcript read back? We can. <laughs> we can. I, I, I'm afraid. Reporter. I'm afraid that we've made a terrible, terrible mistake here. Why? Uh, because I'm not sure. I think what may have happened is she said, "Would you like to come out here sometime?" And and then she didn't look at her phone for a few hours, and Wings just showed up at her place. No, it's not like that. Yeah, wait, was there confirmation on her end? Like, yes, I'm aware that you were coming out now today, or you know, in the next hour or so. Did was she? Did yeah, that. All right, here here it goes. She started talking to me about Thursday, 4:05 p.m. She goes. <clears throat> could you do a, a girly voice for this part? Would you? I, yeah. Not doing yeah, it. just to differentiate between who's saying what. Come on, be an entertainer. <laughs> I do not you do voice. This is my girly oh. voice. Yes, yes that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. You're doing good. You do. You can <laughs> do voices by my <laughs> standards. Uh, she, right, she she sends me a message. This message doesn't make too much sense. I'll read it. it goes. I just want to record the show, and I was trying to plan something with you after work, and I got nothing. I go, sorry, babe. I've been working on cars. What's up? It's cool. I didn't want to. I didn't want to hear. I never agreed to that. I do not. I got up with the voice. It's cool. Just didn't want to hear. I never agreed to do anything. I go, what do you want to do? I don't know. You're still at work? Yes. What are you thinking? I don't care as long as I'm with you. But I got grease on my hands. You got Seriously? game. <laughs> Go on. Yes, LOL. It's all on you, dude. I've been helping a buddy fix his supercharger. What time do you get off? 5.15. So where do you want to eat at tonight? I got shorts and a Spider-Man t-shirt on, on, mind you. She goes, I don't care. Well, let me know when I can call you. All right. This is That That was at, that was at 4.50. At 4.45, I give her a call, and it goes, so-and-so has missed your call. When can you? She goes. When can you call, or when, or when can I answer? All right. And then at seven seventy, at seven twenty-five, she misses another call for me. I go. Do you want to go to Applebee's or something when you get done? She goes. No, sorry. I go. Why is that? Are you standing me up? That ain't even cool. I can't. This is. It's a transcript between um, the messenger and the actual text messages because they're two different places. Uh. That's why it's uh, a big there, gap. There was confirmation there. You you asked if like they if she wants to go to dinner tonight, and she said I don't yeah, care. Which but is like, I mean, there's a huge gap in the thing because some are text messages, some are actually like Facebook messengers. Hmm. Uh, yeah. No, it sounds like she knew that you were coming out there. She did. She asked, she pretty much asked me. She wanted me to get together after. <sighs> That's. Uh, wait, did she say record the show? What is that? What does she do? I think it. To, I, th I think that was record. I think I mispronounced it. Oh. Well, uh, I, just want, I just want the record to show I was trying oh, to plan no. something with you after work, and I've got nothing to do. Okay, so yeah, that's an invite. And then you you were like, well, we could go to dinner, or would you like to go to dinner? And she said, I don't care. Or where would you like to go to dinner? That was a. That not only were you asking whether she liked to go to dinner, you were assuming yes to dinner, and asking where she wanted to go. And then she said, well, "I don't care." That's an ex. That's that's a that's a social contract. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm with Lefty. Mm. Kelly the. That's.
fucked up. I, is, so she, says, is she is she testing you? I, I don't fucking know. I mean, if she's, she's testing, still blowing you up, right? She, Dude, she, she is. We're done with this woman. I'm about ready to give out her last name. Kelly, Jordy can't protect you. I already know it. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly L. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't, oh, my God. don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, he's yeah, scared to date a <laughs> killer. I don't understand. Here, here's the thing. Like, this girl is so messed up that you probably would be doing some kind of mental harm with her if you sent the dogs after her. We're not, not that. We don't want any dogs to attack Kelly. Mm-mm, yeah, no. Kelly. Dogs LA. are metaphorical in this sense. I do not look at the PKA subreddit as any kind of attack dogs at my own pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Kelly, That's I just, don't love you, Kelly. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I, this is my first stand up, and like I just don't understand why I got stood up. I mean, she knows what I look like. She knows what I do. It's not like we weren't talking like two or three weeks mm. before this. Mm. She's not cool, man. She's not cool. She's afraid of a little <laughs> squad killer. What's up with that? Makes no sense. Not a little one. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm a pussy destroyer, of son. Oh, God. <laughs> she didn't want that. Yeah, I mean, enormous... she, she, see, she, she didn't know what she missed out on. I would have been her first, and I would have ruined her for every other man afterwards. Exactly. Oh, you would have pounded her from the back, yeah. and those giant <laughs> would have slammed against her like a five-gallon bucket. It, lo- it would have looked shit. like fucking salami and <laughs> just hanging out. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> I mean, Kyle always goes on rants on me about PK. The vast majority of the problems I deal with today are Kyle's fault. So, it is what it is. Early this morning, somebody messaged me uh, a clip of Wings. Uh, He he was saying that um, I am responsible for all of his life's problems. I thought I was. (sighs) No, it's it's changed his mind. It's me. I I thought that I owed him hundreds of thousands of dollars or something. You know, I don't like this quote. (laughs) Uh, last like, count, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't like misquoting him, but he said something like uh, uh, that. Every now and then, I have a little rant about him, and like that, like flames the or fuels the flames, and uh, and I'm responsible for like all of his problems or whatever. So I would I say have, you're responsible for no more than half. No more than half. Yeah. Like, well, I mean. Maybe seventy five percent. Woody said the meanest shit that's ever been said about him. That, that was, wasn't that me. Was, that was a dude in a blue shirt. <laughs> that was that was so funny. That, I, I loved that. Yeah. And, and like like to be fair, like like it's just a response. It's it's like I, I I hope I hope you don't think that's true, Wings. Like, you know I hope you can realize that you you know you bring all this on yourself. <laughs> I mean, come that's on. funny. I like the idea that, like, if I were Wings, I would want to feel like I brought it all on myself because that's more solvable, right? If if all these problems are from somewhere outside my control, that sucks. But as soon as I realize that, like, ooh, if I'm the problem, I can be the solution. I can wrap this thing up. We can turn this ship around. That's where you'd rather be. Yeah, I think so. Sure. I don't know. Um, But, but, but yeah, like, like, anytime we've, like, given him a hard time, it's always been, like, hitting back. You know, he's the one who's always like being mean to people. For a while, I remember seeing clips that people would send me on Twitter, and it would be like, "You guys are one of you." Usually, Kyle went in on him making jokes during the show, and it'd be like a clip, or it'd be like, "And the PKA guys are making fun of me again, and and Merk Durka stole my spot on the show." <laughs> and it's like, I didn't even say anything. We've how many times have we spoken? Like, <laughs> like. like also, I'm pretty sure you took Lefty Spice. Twice? People have that he history did. in Greg. He did. Yeah. All right. I want to make a little thing, a little caveat here before this. And I think most people that follow me on stream will will know that my take on this. The 1v1 was set up wrong. And instead of like being rational about it, I was being very irrational because I was mad and I was disappointed and I was embarrassed. Right. But I still to this day say the 1v1 was set up wrong, right? And the reason it was set up wrong was because generally 1v1s are done with sweeping radar. They're done with um, no timer. And they're done with a, a third-party host. But, like, there was no sweeping radar and there was and there was a timer. So, like, you could literally play hide-and-seek 
journey. If you haven't done so already, make sure you click the subscribe button on this channel because we're on the road to 10. No, we're, no, we're not on the road to 10 million subscribers. That's the other channel that can't get there. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers on this channel. And if we get there, we get a plaque from YouTube. So make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you ding the notification bell. And more importantly, make sure you leave a like, Graham. That said, I do just want to take a step back for a second before we delve into this and say this. The whole scenario you're about to see and hear of happened 10 years ago. And I truly hold no bad blood to Wings of Redemption. The things he said and did at the time, yeah, they were like, you know, out there and offensive and you know he offended me he offended his friends you know and you know i know he gets a lot of abuse for it and stuff like that to this day about it but i hold no bad blood. this is a, like a thing that i look back on in a fond way yeah it was a dramatic time and it was like you know th th me being not on the the back end of it and you know and getting the abuse yeah. from it but at the same time it, it's in the past it was a video game it's something to look back on laugh about and go yeah what a scenario who could who, who could have wrote this the whole tale is just just crazy so we're gonna watch their podcast their highlight and then once we've done that we're gonna dive in to watch some scenes from where the 1v1 went down so let's get into it PK fun fact about the 1v1 on when the i threw my controller at the end of it versus syndicate 1v1 you oh can actually God. hear the fact i was using a wired this, xbox controller yes. yesterday was the 10 year anniversary what, syndicate? Of oh yeah Oh yes, my right. god. I'm skip FPS to the Russia, actual, epic uh, meal time and Woody's game of time. What I, I a crew. I told him that he told me to. Oh, here I am. I get, I get down first. I thought this was going to be a landslide for Wings because of the connection. Uh, I was surprised you to parade our own. I can sit there and be a bitch with your sound award now. Like, you, you, you see right there, I, I'm already complaining. Like, even though I'm up, I'm up for the first kill, I'm actually complaining that the radar should be on. Let's go back and listen to that again. I'm going to turn this shit all the way up. First, I thought this was going to be a landslide for Wings because of the connection. Uh, I was... probably should have parade all wrong. So I can sit there and be a bitch with your sound horn now. So oh, yeah. Sound horn was a thing back in the day. Look at this, man. Temp prestige, by the way. <laughs> I'm just shooting my pistol in the air. Hey, and I got him. Oh, he got his spawn trap now. It's actually a pretty good show, I think. I got the... Yeah. Yeah, this is Woody. This is great. Yeah, let's get on the. On this the is great. I never really watched this back fully. <laughs> I've actually never watched this back either. Yeah, in the car. Why did I say the nade? I'm actually at a disadvantage here, like map wise. You can get me off it. Get a nade Normally over there. When we play like friends. We always say no heal. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> so he left the hill. He might have heard that and started playing. Right now. He can't talk. Yeah. He's only up to one. Oh! See, that, that's a legit loss there. Like, he gave the hill up, and I was actually I, I was actually looking for him on the oh, hill there. Oh, there goes. goes prone. Face down, ass up. That's the way <laughs> yeah, I should be doing it. I should be doing it better. And, like, then, like, here's, here's another. Like, I think he got another he get, kill on me there. I think I actually make a comeback here in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down. Wings of Redemption <laughs> then I take the hill over and, and I start getting some kills. Like, and now the Syndicate's in the position that I was in. Yeah, well, lose this, got, I don't remember. Got the higher ground. Does he get me here? I think I do get him here. Like, normally I would play this differently. I do. Like, I, like, I, because, like, it was really close until, like, I think seven or eight kills. Then he nades me off, and like this I is something. This is something I, that I always struggle with in games, like even in like Apex, like recently. Like I'm terrible at using nades. Oh! And then I was frustrated because like now I'm down. I'm up three. Dude, this is mad to watch. Oh, I take that red deck. Oh, I, hope, I think he gets me. Oh, I get him. Nice. I, and I get it. I get him back there. So like, I'm down like three kills it's right now. I really don't remember the, the, the gameplay much. Cause like, like, over there messing around with a pistol. At the like here, here's the thing. Like, like in my head, he's not going to spawn behind me because like, you generally if you're standing right here with the line of sight to this, you generally the map won't spawn you over here if you're on this side of the hill. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep him trapped on the marine side, which was actually a bad mistake. I should have actually been on this side of the hill and like standing over here in this general direction to force the spawn here 
because there's less cover here. You got to give your whole body up versus like there's cars, tanks, flaming barrels and stuff. That was a yeah. mistake on my part. But well, like I was too. young back then and I was I was frustrated Ooh, and then he just straight oh! beats me on the on the <laughs> gun here. <laughs> I killed him and he said good lord. <laughs> Yo, everybody in the stream. That's when you know you yeah. got someone good. Twitch TV, what is gamer tag? Get the views up. I think I win this gunfight. Oh my god, look at us juking This might out. be the last gunfight like I win. Just Hitting each other there. Is he still sitting over there, just crouching? Nope. <laughs> oh. Crap. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> he said, is, I think there's one more gunfight that I win. Uh, because like it gets to like the three or four minute mark, and I realize that I those, can't he catch him. He's like, like the competitive elements come out of me now, but like, you know, he set up the guns, he set up the classes, he set up the rules, he set up the map, he set up everything, and then when he was down by like five, he was like, oh wait, the rules are kind of wrong. I could play like a. Like he is, but I ain't got the time to do it now. I, I was winning. I didn't have to do I think anything. Syndicate's been watching some of my videos. <laughs> I think Syndicate uh, has been watching my videos. Not only is he no longer suicidal, but he's winning in Call of Duty. I'm taking. Hey, Kuyo, thanks for joining the reaction. I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. I think I only get one more kill. Let me. Videos. Let me. Why don't you go and make a comment that there's not been a shot fired in almost two minutes because Syndicate's laying on his belly somewhere. He's. No, he's not. He's. <gasps> Bro, he tried to call me out saying that I'm just lying on my belly and th they just straight up had my back like, no, he's actually playing. Oh, dude. I'm up by five. Nice. Here I think go. that's the last kill I get right there. there. I'm not going to lie. But this was the good thing. As soon as you as soon as you got a kill, I think he gets me here again because as soon as you got a kill, you, you you could race where they were. You could push him. Nice. No, never mind. That, that might be the last kill. Because, like, there, I remember, like, in the back of my head, there was, like, a flurry of kills I got that I had some hope that I'm going to come back on him. Why did, why did, because, like, in, uh, let, me, let me stop right here. Like, like, in my head, I was thinking, like, even if I came back on him, this is going to be fucking bad. Because at the time, I was one of the big dogs in Call of Duty, and I was known for my KD. And Syndicate was known as a zombie player. And, like, you, what you might not see here, and what, what the screen doesn't actually tell you, it was really a shit connection. Like, either way, like, I had more bars than he did but at this time like i had a shit internet connection i think my internet connection was three download 0.28 upload or something like that and like we were connecting to woody which woody's in north carolina so i, ha I think i had a three bar connection to woody and but syndicate had a two bar to woody and i had a two bar to syndicate and it like it kind of works a little bit of both ways and like like i was thinking in my head that this is going bad Bad, bad, bad. I don't understand and why And then you just do that. what ends up happening, Wait, I think oh, right yeah, actually, here he kills so me not, and I break my controller. Syndicate, I think like, the very next one is. That means he actually knew. He actually got call outs for where, where I was. I never thought about that. Like, obviously, in the early game. All right, how about we end this and just go and cut the radar on? Who 1v1s I mean, with radar on? I, I, I never, everybody 1v1s with radar 1v1 on. I never 1v1 with people. Dude, he's just f the radar right. on. Look, I'm looking at the f map right now. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. I see him. Not hiding. I'm not hiding. I'm standing on the fucking open. He, he can't see this because he's too busy laying on his belly half the time. I'm like, we can all see what he's doing. He's, he's hunting for you. This is where it starts to get sour, I think, because, like, as they said, I wasn't just hiding. Like, I was like, let's let's run this. I was just try hiding like fuck. Yeah, he's not doing a good job. I don't know, I would, like, I like you're seeing, like, where both of us are at, but, like, at the time, when you killed him, it's like, boom, there's nothing but silence, and you're waiting. Like, with the pro the problem with the M16s is they, they are so strong that you, you get one good burst off, and you actually can beat somebody. Imagine my nerves must have been shot at this point, like, thousands of people watching. Like, let's go! <laughs> See, I wouldn't have to worry about this if radar was on. I knew exactly where he's at, and it'd be a gun-on-gun -gun confrontation. Now I gotta worry about getting first shot on, because M16s are one shot on this shit. But he's got better connection. Never understood that. Oh! Yeah, he takes me off there. Did, I think that's the one that did it. so good. I'm not sure if I jumped up on top of the metal post. I think that's that, the but, one oh that did God. it right there. God, I love this game. I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this game, man. Hey, Reckless Javi, Mr. Jordan, like, would you do a remax of X-Jobs if the one price is right? On the clock. You mean uh, the billionaire's bash? Oh, that was all set up, man. He's going for it. I'm up by four. This is where I'm like, I've just got to clutch this win now. I have actually, I actually, have, a, I actually have a, I actually have a story based on that extra one. Because there's a lot yeah. of people, there's a lot of people that would not play. That just exactly, there's a lot of people that would not play this. Like legit, 
99% of people would just not take this because it's like ego at stake. Like, you're going to lose. But I was like, you know what? I'll lose. It is what it is, man. You know, fuck it. I lost to some guy on Call of Duty. Woo, it's a video game. Like, that would have been my takeaway on it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure you could say, oh, but you would probably use the excuse of like, oh, it's the lag or the connection. You know what? Just, yeah, you're probably right, but, like, I've just learned from seeing, like, you know, sports athletes or other video gamers and stuff like that. Like, you know, like, like it's the good sportsmanship. Like, you lose, you're like, right, okay, fair, you know, fair GG. You can, you can have your celebration time and be like, yeah, yeah, fair. But then afterwards, it's like, you know, GG's well done. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's how it always is. Every, every time I, like, oh, try to, <laughs> you know, depends who it is, um, end a scenario, it's just like, you know, GG, it is what it is. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That was I it. Was a tough lobby to do well in. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, turn this up. Turn turn your mics up. I want you to hear that. You can hear the cord because I remember this specifically. I th I had a black Xbox 360 controller. And it was wired, right? Because I that's how try hard I was in Modern Warfare 2, right? I I had a wired Xbox controller because they had a little bit less latency on your button presses, but you can hear, you can hear it actually get slung out because I threw it. And it popped out of the USB drive on the wire controller. Listen for it. That was him breaking the controller. Look, and at this point, I've got to think, like, oh, try to. <laughs> you know, depends who it is. Um, end of scenario, it's just like, you know, GG. It is what it is. You know, like oh, here we go. Like, I knew that was a tough lobby to do well in. Yeah, you hear that two clicks? That's that actually the, the wire popping out of the that Xbox 360. The Look, yeah. and at this point, I've got 30 seconds left. I just lie in the field. I'm going to stop it there. And I actually have a four bar connection there to a three bar. But like, regardless, it was laggy for both sides. He probably lagged a little bit more than I did. But like, I don't know. Like, it, it, it wasn't as big as a blowout as people remember it being. Like, I'm down five kills. But like, a lot of that is like, ugh, it was so hard to find him. Like, over and over again. It was so stressful. And not to mention, I was kind of, I kind of had like drilling going and my hands were shaking a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put the f bomb on my channel because YouTube's different nowadays. But like, we'll skip past this into his take. Uh, and like I said, you know, it is what it is. It was a video game. It was ten years ago, and uh, I look back on it with fond memories. So let's give this a listen. Congratulations! It is the ten year anniversary of the one v one. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> How does that does that still affect you to this day? Dude, this guy's an age a day that night or did it affect you longer term than that i'd say about six months like wow. it, it it didn't affect me mentally for six months but like i had a downward trend in like subscribers for six months yeah. i think it's just because of like, his um, reaction to it and how he responded to people looking back would i do it differently yeah obviously i would but you know like i did i <laughs> <laughs> I still to this day, I'm going to make the wilder excuse <laughs> that 1v1s are played with radar sweeping. Oh, yeah. fuck this! <laughs> 10 years later, Wings! <laughs> Come on! I have 1v1'd so many friends and we never put the radar on. It is... It was... Right, one sec. Let me just tone it down. It's been 10 years. I'm sorry you lost. Okay? I'm sorry I beat you with a faster internet connection that was on your end. I'm sorry the ping was in your favor. I'm sorry I didn't camp the entire game. But if you're going to tell me you still couldn't beat me, even with the radar ping on, that means I was at the same disadvantage as you. Yeah, but that element of gun skill, not a hide-and-seek game. Right, but that, but the, if, you, if the radar is not on, it becomes a hide-and-seek game. It's like, who, who sees who first, right? Yeah. And I, I felt like he played hide-and-seek better than me. But I, I also reacted like an immature child. And that's because I was an immature child. And, like, you know, a lot of people won't agree with this. But, like, I was 24 at the time. I'm 35 now. Ah, I don't know. Like, I don't know how it affected me in the long term. I, I think, I don't, I can't say it humbled me because it didn't. All right. Cause I, cause I looked at it in a way of like, you know, nine out of ten times I win that I win that one v one, and what what happened was the the ten percent. Yeah, aren't you supposed to play at least the best two out of three? We, it, that might have happened, but I I kind of got so upset that the radar sweeping wasn't on, and I was losing, and you know it is what it is. I lost. Oh man, <laughs> like that what what a response.
I will say this, Wings, if you are watching this, you seem like you're happy in life. I genuinely wish you all the best. Uh, it, what a what a random roller coaster and adventure. Like I said, I, I've I've learned something through my life, which is just to not I, hold. I grudges. still think we should uh, get back on Modern Warfare Remastered and I've redo it. Yo, Gatorade me, bitch. You worried about reviving me instead of getting the fucking prisoner, dude. Seriously. Well, I just got a friend request. Someone make it fun. Yeah, just don't talk about it. Oh. That yeah, Wendy's is like that with drinks. Like, you order Wendy's, they make the DoorDash driver fix the drinks if they don't do the drive through yeah, He's waited all day to do that one right there. Oh my god, it must be those cars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh those cars. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Imagine imagine the car. Oh my god. Imagine god. Imagine you guys start looking at you the dad. Dad. It's car. Could you imagine not having a dad? Come on, dudes. Can we, can we not win gunfights now? Like, this is like Search and Destroy. You should play it like Search and Destroy. On the A, 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 second floor, second floor A. It doesn't matter where I died at. Just worry about getting the wins. Don't worry about me. Like, come on, seriously. Concentrate on getting these fucking wins, dudes. Yeah, we, we've been this way for like three fucking rounds, though. Like, oh wow, I get more levels. That doesn't mean shit. But my biggest concern with this game is the snipers are overpowered. Come on, snipe? Really? Come on, guy on my ex, two on my ex, two on my ex. I'm gonna need you guys talking, boys. Come on, really? Worry about the objective, don't worry about reviving me. It's not a good run, I went 1.3 AKD. That's what everybody wants for Christmas. Not to deal with it. I told my wife to take all my presses back. It's like any money you spend on me, I'd rather have it in my savings account. Come on. Come on, man. I hate the Riot Shield Bulls. The Riot Shield Bulls needs to be out the game. There's literally two of them running the riot shield trash. You see, you came over here, dude. What the f*** are you doing? You're walking away from the prisoner. God damn it, dude. You guys don't use your brain. Come on. It takes a second to arm. That's so corny. Just extract the prisoner. It's not even nice, dude. This riot shield is cheating for the most part. Maybe you gotta get better, bro. No, they need more They need more f***ing counters to it. Come on. Oh, spawn flip, spawn flip, spawn flip, spawn flip. Right on my X, right on my X. Come on! What's the help? I've died three times trying to help. Barker, that, that didn't give you permission to stand up, dog. Damn it, son. Got two, three deep on B, on right B. Got right shield on B, right shield on B. Remember, don't push up too far. You guys get greedy. Stop playing into that. Where about that double door to the right? I got the left one. Losing alpha, losing alpha. Right shield on A. Going toward kitchen, going toward kitchen. Pushing A, A. The guy in the back of our spawn, guy in the back of our spawn. I got right side of the back of the spawn, near brown band. Somebody cover the left. Got him, cleared. Guy on alpha, alpha cleared. Overwatching the apartments. No presence on B. Guy in kitchen, guy in kitchen. Pushing up behind B, We're losing A, losing B. Take anything, take anything. Your presence on Bravo. I need help on Bravo. Calls Charlie. Guy in chandelier, chandelier pushing toward gift shop. Two, two, two chandelier. Take Alpha back, leave him, leave him on Charlie, leave him on Charlie. UAB going up. Two guys in middle, three guys in middle, pushing A, pushing kitchen. Pushing A, pushing kitchen. Guy in the get beer container into bottom B, beer container bottom B. We're not, and you guys kind of constantly are pushing into billiards and above billiards, which you shouldn't be. What? I mean, it's not a hard concept, just don't go past the B flag. Yep. Mainly seven, like seven's gonna be the first one we drop if we drop people. You're the one that's mainly pushing. Every time I every time I see somebody pushed up as you, I don't even think I invited him. I think he's somebody's friend. Again, I just I just broke it down for you. Seventeen thousand. I got more than seventeen thousand in my savings account right now. Like why? Like why would I risk my life for another? Damn. Uh, ban snooper to from launch, please. That's why that's why the asking price is up there, dude. I won't. I won't. 100k is not life changing. Dude, I, I need to quit pushing that way. Planet A. Quit. A bomb. Bomb, you're fighting by yourself. Damn it, dude. Bro, I feel like seven bullets in a row. Yeah, but you got the bomb. You should be worrying about planning, not fighting. My bad, bro. Yeah. 25k for me would be like a, a roof and air conditioning taxes. No, I don't invest in stocks. Like, like the snipers in this game make it a point and click adventure. Like 5k that. would barely get me to Vegas and back. Fuck is you talking about? Oh boy. Mm. 
Uh, you can't hear it? The drill charge is dumb as hell. They all in the back of the spawn. Get your No! Dude, they're all over me. All joking aside, Rich from your re Review Tech USA, kid behind the camera, a airsoft fatty. I mean, there's a lot of guys who I feel like would be a better match, and it'd be a lot more entertaining. I make him look like Boogie before he got his teeth fixed. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, if you had to wake up every day and look in the mirror and look like him, you'd be mad too. I didn't even see him. Dude, their whole team is snipers. Whoever's got bomb, he probably should be heading to big, heading to A. Should have been, should have been refrag. But yeah, the way to beat people that just run snipers is just, just get get assault rifles, SMGs, whatever, shotguns. Like the vast vast majority of what you're gonna see in, in search and destroy is gonna be AK-74U with the SB-50. Uh, you guys just run straight at him, dog. Dude, that's a that's a Toyota Tacoma or a high look, depending on where you're from. Everybody knows what they look like. Nah, I don't know what they look like. Nah, that's why you lose them. You know what? The 70 clan sucks ass. Keep, keep using those trash knifers, bud. You might get a win next game with skill based matchmaking. The Elise is up. Dude. One guy literally ran through the whole team. You have one PC player, the vast majority of lobby PC. Dude, this guy really knifed me. Because by the time I paid the taxes and did home repairs and paid my truck off, I'd have like 15k or something left in the bank. Dude, switched out of fucking full auto. Shut up, bitch. Dude, you're getting carried by one guy on PC. Get quiet. You're taking the bomb in the middle. Stop, stop, stop that. I knew that. This game is too bad. I think that guy. They do the same thing every time and we just don't go that way. It's been too late now, we're already down 3 to 5. Dude, they're going to be hard. Again, it's not by overestimate value. Like, a 25k payday is not worth it. Dude, is, is the other guy not watching? Are you not I was second floor. Both? <laughs> Both don't. Yeah, we'll be right. Uh, yeah, come on. Come on. Watch this. 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 Oh my god, there's too many cars on this man. Fucking dog. Hey, Brody, how's that motor truck?